<laughs> we gotta do the intro again. Uh, Say something about nuts right now when it's. <laughs> it's it. supposed to be the cool part. <laughs> <laughs> See, people need to understand that they this show is absolutely not cool. We're just a no. bunch of chaos goblins. Dang it! Everybody, welcome to Nat One Fun. <laughs> now they know. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody, welcome to Nat One Fun. Welcome I think to they Running knew. Faye Wild. I mean, I'm just. I, mean... Uh, I hope everybody had a great week. I know I did. Uh, if you were here for the pregame or the pre-show uh, banter, uh, KP had a, a nice little speech about his his trip. How <laughs> professional I am! I am, I am <laughs> <laughs> such pro. All the pro. Oh, Zary bro. pro. If I if we so if we pro have, I don't even have a camera strap. If we have like a pregame chat and I don't learn some shit, then KP wasn't talking somehow because I feel like every time I learn some new something new, and it, and and I I come out of it better because I've learned something about a culture or a technology or something like that. It's always a TED talk, and I love it. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You yeah. do yeah. always come always with something. like a bit of knowledge before, when you come in. Ah, <laughs> listen. All I think is that KP beat the underwater level. Yeah. What? Oh, <laughs> is he that did. a Zelda reference? That was it. That was it. And that's why it was so hard. That because the underwater reference. level, uh... it's supposed to hurt you. It's an, ultimate, <laughs> it's an ultimate ego death. You're not supposed to walk away having felt successful or like you enjoyed it. That is true. Uh, you leave beaten, utterly cowed. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and a hero, okay? <laughs> I mean, oh, I don't know yeah. about that last part. No, all of it, all of it, all of it. Okay. I believe it. So uh, <laughs> kind of coming back into it, we are coming back after a couple week break. like Or not a couple week break, but after a couple weeks. Uh, Can for we those ban that Nate? Don't He's know... spending propaganda in the chat about me. <laughs> <laughs> for those that don't know, Running Fay Wild is now uh, twice a month. It is every other week uh that is the way we are running the show now so that way we can kind of catch our breath between episodes and everything like that um and uh the let's see the donation tracker down below uh is a little off um so i'm trying to fix that as i speak um but every 50 dollars does activate a a wild magic surge so uh there's going to be an emulation right now to bring this back down to zero um but uh, this is today's gonna be the day we're gonna demand. want this. Um, <clears throat> messages resetting. All right. Um, th th there's gonna be wild magic today. Like it's going to happen one Ooh. way or another. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, there I'm was a zero dollar donation. Me there too. we go. <laughs> All right. So that should set us back down to zero. And let me refresh the stream just in case. That way we can get it going. Um, but anyways, uh, let's go into our uh, affiliate ships that we have here. Um, so first and foremost, we have our affiliate ship with Die Hard Dice. Um, Die Hard Dice has been a, a lovely company that uh, has supported Nat One Fund since nearly the beginning. Um, and <clears throat> they are uh, allowing us to, uh, you know, bank off a little bit of of your your spending if you go to the website right now and uh first and foremost i believe the set that you guys have to check out this um this month because it is on a monthly basis Ooh. um is going to be the uh avalor talisman aventura set Ooh. Um, oh, that I sounds like that sound. spicy. It is a bit mm. spicy, and I'm going to send you the link in chat right now, uh, Please everybody. hurry. So that way you guys can check <laughs> it out. Bam. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm. And it we is ain't getting chat. any younger. So uh, that right there is the the set that you can check out. And if you... Oh, Taylor, your, your camera is going to be doing that thing all day, isn't it? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. I That's also... just Taylor's face. Just, oh, got it. <laughs> it's just the name. <laughs> Grandma's <laughs> like, how do I turn this camera on? That, that, that's a censorship oh, no. bar and something bad is happening right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Grandma's the only character who's allowed to have just the forehead <laughs> in the camera shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Yo, Why is so... on your phone? Or like in like, their that's ear? That's the Zoom thing. You get yeah. like their cheek. Yeah. 
because that's how they talk to you. Okay. It was doing hey. this on Discord the other day because I installed a new mic, I guess, and now that I'm on Zoom, I don't know how to fix oh, it. Oh my god! Oh, no. Just keep doing it again. Okay. So just let, um, just let it happen. This is yeah. Just gonna... Anyways, uh, what I was saying is in chat you can check out that uh, Die Hard Dice link right there. That'll lead you to uh, the Avalor Talisman set, and that set is made to be to look like jade. So it is a gorgeous set that is uh, acrylic made, but it has a jade look and feel to the thing. Um, wow. I have the set myself, mm. uh, and it is absolutely incredible. Wait, you have it? I what does it feel it. like? Yeah, I was literally going to say that. I was like, describe the feeling to me. Well, I'm, yeah. <laughs> okay. I will describe the feeling to you. Hold on. The see. hand feel. So if the you hand will. feel of this set right here is pretty great Junie, the because mouth feel. all of the corners are blunted. <laughs> If you oh. look at the D8. Oh, so it is, it's safe to crunch. Yeah, it's a crunch. So when I step crunch. on that in the night, it'll hurt just like less. a seven instead less. of a nine. That much less. Exactly. No, it is uh, the okay. Avalar series uh, that are that's on Die Hard Dice. So if you don't like this particular color or maybe this, uh, this, this you know, uh, this type of dice or whatever, um, this design is still all over Die Hard Dice. And they have uh, where like where all the... The corners are blunted on them, um, and I think the D6 okay. is a little bit, uh, like a little bit bigger than normal as well. Um, anyways, that is uh, that. How would you, set. how would you personally rate this? And remember, they are a sponsor, and there is a correct answer. <laughs> uh, ten. There we go. Wow, okay. that's great. Wow, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm, I'm totally done now. Yeah, I'm sweating bullets after that. Okay, uh, <laughs> that is that is that set of dice. And if you want to support Nat One Fun, you can do so by either purchasing that set of dice, or you can type in the code Nat One Fun whenever you purchase anything from the website and save ten percent off. Uh, you can also use ExpressVPN, and if you are looking for a new VPN or to update your own VPN. Uh, you can check out the the link in chat, which is just expressvpn.com slash nat1fun. And you can get yourself ExpressVPN for uh, up to a year. And if you do get the year-long package, you get an additional three months for free. Ooh, yeah. good. Yeah. And Safety then, on the internet. <laughs> and then last but not least, 1985 Games. 1985 Games has been a wonderful new uh, ad addition to the Nat1Fun team. Um, we and them. we do a uh, Monday night stream, uh, which Taylor was actually on our last uh, episode last Monday. Yes. Uh, where we steam, alibi. right? Y'all, y'all, y'all were in space, right? We were. We're in we space. Were in space. Uh, you really need to check it out. It's a really quick, like one hour, one hour, twenty minute, uh, like long episode, basically, where we play any anything. We use the 1985 games as deck of stories cards, which basically are just prompts. And we use it to improvise an entire, like, one shot. Like, one hour, one and a half hour long one shot. Taylor, what did you think about that that, that episode? Um, I had a phenomenal time. I want to go buy the cards now, <laughs> presumably so that I can just play uh, by myself in my closet and create another <laughs> Wiggly adventure. Oh, by um, the way, her, her character's name was Wiggly. <laughs> yeah, but with a, but O-U-I, right. it was kind of highbrow like don't worry if you're not about it like i've done it i got them i got a set here too i know exactly what you're talking yes, about and it's nice. just Junie's like you like when we started like we were definitely like the the hot mess express and so you'd think like how are they going to get through this like how is this going to be a feasible story in an hour and let me just tell you it was a it was like the best pilot of all time <laughs> <laughs> it pulls it's... you in it really pulls you in and then after an hour you're like that's it <laughs> like I want to play more. Um. So yeah. And anyways. Rosie drew like every character from it. Yeah. Saw, sweet Rosie saw, B like, from chat and and some other like squiggly. Um. Uh. What I'm assuming is is a is a dog or a puppy of some sort. <laughs> it was a dog. Oh, yes. That was brush. That was brush. But not what you think. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's why I was just like I, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to assume anything because well, I didn't watch the whole thing. I watched. I call it mo like parts of it. <laughs> Neither here nor there, but check out the streams on Monday if you want. But that was all thanks to 1985 Games. If you want to check out even more stuff from 1985 Games, you can check out the link in chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, uh, the link is down below. But it is 1985games.com slash P slash Nat1Fun. And then you can use code Nat1Fun in checkout for an additional 10% off. Do not forget... 
that 1985 games just came out with a Kickstarter for a brand yes. new series of dice. Mm -hmm. oh, they're are gorgeous. Fucking insanely, incredibly, like amazingly beautiful. They are so, so nice. And we're going to check it out during break uh, because I because I want to because we have time. Yeah. I okay. like all the dice showings, please. Oh, it's so good. More of those. All right. I just, I like the packaging. The packaging. <laughs> the packaging is nice. All right. So that kind of covers all our bases. Our millennial is showing. <laughs> I did. I did. I don't know what a VHS is. Never mind. We're too so, young that, for that. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. No. You know, I wear that badge proudly, all right? <laughs> I will fucking pop in that VHS, that goddamn cassette player. Dude. I will record my favorite song while listening to it on a radio station because you can't get it any other way. I will make a mix Listen, Maybe I'm with the you. The stream has already started. People can't be learning about how things work I, right now. I owned <laughs> and very often used a freaking Betamax. However, I'm Ooh, not trying to nice. age myself on the internet. <laughs> okay, so that's going a little further than I, I, I know. Spud is like, <laughs> what's a DVD? Y'all are just, are just uh, making up words, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, oh, oh my God. Confusing all these Gen Xers. Uh, I also did have a multiple uh, mini disc, laser disc, DVD player Ooh. situation. Oh, yeah, I remember those things. Yep. Yeah, yeah. late. I had Star Gate on Laserdisc. Yeah, oh, that say, was dope shit. <laughs> I remember I used to have a CD player. All right. Nate, well. you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you're not old enough. You have to be this old to ride. <laughs> so, yeah. funny, speaking of uh, some things that we are coming up with, uh, even though they might not be true, <clears throat> um, we are going to introduce our newest section at the start of the episode. Like I said, we are very much inspired by Dungeons and Daddies. Um, and they have what's called, you know, dad facts and or whatever the heck their new series is called. Rad it. facts. Rad facts. Yep, exactly. We have our own and we're going to come up with something called Feywild Factoids. So Feywild Factoids, uh, we are going to give each one of these individuals a chance to let me know what is uh, a random fact here in the Feywild. Um, and we are going to take that, and it will become officially canon in Running Fay Wild. So essentially, this is ja Dan just being very lazy and not wanting <laughs> yeah. to write anything. It's and free wants our world ideas, building. free world, building. you know, Yo, and use our up. labor for <laughs> for his world. Okay, uh, I will admit to nothing. And uh, Pooja, you're up first. Oh, what is, give me a fact about the Fay Wild. Um. A fact that absolutely everybody obviously knows. A fact that everybody <laughs> already absolutely knows is that if you eat the purple flowering berries, you will forget the last six hours of your day. All right. Amnesia. So it is, like, it, is, that down. it is another. <laughs> yeah, no, you don't get to. It's a different type of morning after pill, if you will. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> It just want to forget what happened? <laughs> yeah, Sometimes, very you do. Somewhere Sometimes else. you need that. Regrets. Okay. There the are none here. <laughs> Eating purple Some berries, regrets. amnesia for six hours. Got it. <laughs> it's a specific berry, Dan. It's not all of them. Oh, it's no, but but it behooves you to know which one, and especially if your friends come to you full with regret. Here, buddy. <laughs> here you go. He promoting go. a lot of things right now. See, right. maybe we the do need that. The problem is mine was also food related. <laughs> What's, okay, well, well, let's I feel like this is going to be a theme. We'll food transition. Theme. I like it when there's a theme. It's a good transition. What do you got, Nate? Uh, mine was that if anybody ever offers you chicken noodle soup, uh, they're in fact proposing to you. What? Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. I like Somebody's that. Somebody's going to accidentally eat that soup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be grandma. It, it's a hundred percent binding acceptance. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> oh, I mean, I dig it. I'm down. All right. So, uh, moving on. Uh, Noah, what do you got for me? Um, crap. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. Okay. Uh, Slow there, burn. there is um, there is this uh, designated area. Uh, usually in any place where there's a gathering of like more than just a handful of people mm -hmm. um, that is specifically for what, oh, man, how, what's the English word? Like gossip. Um, so I was going to say Chisme. bochinche. Uh, yeah, yeah, bochinche, bochinche. Where it's basically like if you know you want to talk some stuff, but you know, you don't want to do it in, a, in like 
just out in the open you go over here and it's basically almost like a um a message form where you just like come over here if you want to talk some stuff or some some like you know some you know and it's and it's counterintuitive because you are in a public space and putting it out there but it's understood as a whatever's in the um the gossip zone stays mm -hmm. in the gossip got zone. it okay so so magic, it's like you know if the town is zone. getting bigger there's always a little gossip zone somewhere <laughs> if, it's, if it's big enough is this like the cone of silence from what was that show <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Get smart or something. Get smart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Grandma, what do you got for me? <sighs> okay. Listen. Um, uh oh. You said it could be anything. I did. I did say it could be anything. <laughs> I mean, we do and have chicken just, noodle soup. That means I marriage. just want you to remember that you did this. <laughs> oh, God. Um, What's happening? And you didn't like put any rules. Okay. Okay. Is, is this so, one of those situations where there's like it, there's no rules, and then someone says something? There's one there's rule. There's one rule. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how all rules come about? Yeah. It's Listen, always the case. I was gonna mess with Nate, but then I stopped because I was just like, wait, you know what? Because <laughs> I was gonna go off of the chicken noodle soup situation, and I was like, no, 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 no. All right, what is it? <laughs> what do we got? Okay, this is really serious. Everybody needs to like sit down. We are not the We're only awesome. Earth humans in the Fey Wild. <gasps> oh. Nicholas Cage is here too. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Nick Cage was always oh, Faye. He oh just God. happened to be in our world and then he came back. But the thing that's is, that's all it was. The thing is, is that they've actively been trying to get him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> we walked by him like four times and he won't he, he won't background. because he <laughs> found like, a way in he found a way in they don't know where the crack is they've been looking for it they have all of their qa yeah. on it yeah <laughs> okay everybody's like bug fixing testing like trying to figure out what's broken but they can't find the crack that nicholas cage is getting through every time he feels like coming here and they're trying to close it they can't find it <laughs> <laughs> I love this, this so is, much. This is very much is Rick and Morty, crew. where Rick just pops in and out, and they're like, where yeah. the hell did you freaking come from? <laughs> Go away! Why are you here? And it always uh, happens. Oh, it'll be like that episode where, like, Morty goes into that pocket dimension that time goes, like, much faster than their own. And so every time he comes back, like, he causes more chaos without realizing, and now they're just coming back trying to destroy him and finding ways, or, like, learning, trying to find ways to kill him. Because they think he's a demon, that thing that that really works for Nick Cage as well here. Like every time he comes yeah. back, it's like a hundred years later, and he's <laughs> looking immortal to these people here. I like it. I dig it. Amazing. Well, okay, I I I'm I've already kind of got some some stuff stirring up for that one. All oh, right, God. cool. Thank Are we you, gonna have Nick Cage? Are we gonna be meeting Faye Nick Santosh. Cage? <laughs> Santosh, what do we got? Santosh, what is here in the Feywild? Or not not what is here? Can, can we, but when when you meet fact? him in the Feywild, it's Nicholas Mage. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. How do I follow up that? Right. What do with I any, say to this? With anything like moderately less shameful. So <laughs> amazing. Piggyback. Get do ready. what I do, just piggyback. It's like get six, ready for that yeah. season of the list. Get no, because I was right already now. gonna do that and I've already felt shameful about it. No, and then I had to follow good. up this. You're up. Because no, I was gonna up. piggyback off of what what uh, uh <laughs> what Pooja said in that there's another berry that is lavender in color. Uh -huh. Oh no, not so, purple and lavender. <laughs> it's lavender. This is gonna right? get us. Okay. If, if you are colorblind, the Feywild apologizes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and instead of making you forget everything, mm -hmm. it makes you remember all of your most embarrassing moments in excruciating detail. Ooh. All of the silly little things that you just cringe remembering about like how i kicked one of the football players back in high school because i thought it was a fun joke because they were supposed to be my mentor and i thought we were best of friends turns out it's probably not the smartest thing to do is kick a uh, footballer in the shin especially the lead quarterback uh <laughs> and i did not know how to moderate my strength and therefore kicked him pretty hard and i still remember to this very day him <laughs> screaming he just kicked me he just came up and kicked me <laughs> Good on him for not beating the shit out of me. This you scrawny, all of that. small. All of that. Oh yeah, no, with excruciate. I probably ate one of those berries. Yeah, yeah it sounds like every you were, night like, tripping balls on that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all there right. you go. Thank you. Yeah. All right, thank you everybody for your uh, your your Feywild factoids. I appreciate it. All right.
And then um, on that note, if you are all prepared, we are going to get started with today's episode. Do you have anything else before we get started? Right now, Nicolas Cage is buying a corn dog somewhere. All right. We're going to go ahead. Gross. <laughs> and roll the last we left off. Thanks for that, Junie. I don't know why, but I'm just freaked out by it. It didn't have to be gross. What is he all right. it in? Time for our voice acting talents. Oh, God. That's right. Lights go dim. A hush falls on the crowd. And Mr. Light steps into the single magical sp uh, spotlight in the middle. Shh. Look at that outfit that Dan didn't wear for us. Mm. Yeah, you oh. asshole. I want, I want the chat, and I want everybody, I want the world to be upset with that. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's extravaganza. I'm Mr. Light. Prepare to be delighted. <laughs> the crowd goes wild, and the main event begins. A strongman act, a beautiful merfolk act, a wish tree, all making an appearance before the lights go out, and an ominous voice is heard from above. Ah. I will discover the truth behind Prismere, even if I have to tear this entire carnival apart. <laughs> Why did it sound like so oh my bored, Gary hey, Emo? I see Mr. Light. He's heading out the exit. Follow me. So the team rushes out the back of the tent to find an employees-only area being guarded by a lone bugbear wearing a pumpkin over his head. Once convinced that the team are actually new employees to the carnival, he lets them access the area by stating the secret password to the thorny entrance. Super secret. <laughs> <laughs> Pixie Sparkle. <laughs> oh. Once inside, they find new employees' uniforms as well as locate Mr. Light and Mr. Witch as they seem to be arguing about something inside their private wagon. We need to handle this pest problem before it's too late! It'll be alright, she knows nothing. She'll get frustrated soon enough and be on her way. We can help with that, but you're gonna have to tell us how to get to Prismere. Coming to an agreement, the group exists, <laughs> exits the wagon, but not before Suntosh quickly and sneakily snags Mr. Light's I'm magic item. item. Holy shit, dude! This is so cool! I have a talking cane, bro! <laughs> that is totally not how we talk about this <laughs> After talking we... with Burley the Bugbear and nearly killing Noah by dropping him from Nate's full Warforged height, a giant dragonfly crash lands in front of the group as a familiar voice in the distance cries out for help. I'm dying! <laughs> You're better now. We are such pro voice actors. So I, think our, I think our recap voices should be nowhere near our what we do now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what our That's a good point. Um, yes. Don't forget that you can watch those unhindered on the, our YouTube channel. <laughs> if you ever were like, unhindered. <laughs> we just enhanced the hell out of them. Yeah, sure. Watch you it. mean unseasoned. Unseasoned. Yeah. Un <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, basically. Land and unseasoned uh, on our YouTube channel if you ever would like to. <laughs> Anyways, neither here nor there. What you all hear in the distance is, Ah! Shit! Come on! What the fuck? Ah! As you hear Dan Danielson's voice coming from... <gasps> the, in the distance, you hear Dan Danielson's voice coming from the, the, the direction of the crow. Now, you look over, and you see that uh, lying on the ground next to you is the that, uh, that large... Buzzing firefly, or excuse me, uh, buzzing um, uh, dragonfly. dragonfly, as it like tries to like get up off the ground. But you see that something strange is covering its eyes. It's like a weird black mist or something like that. Um, and you see that its riders had tumbled off of it, and one of them is a dwarf and one is a tabaxi. They seem groggy, but they're they're uninjured. Um, but something strange that dragonfly it, it like can't get its bearing as like its eyes are covered in this weird black mist. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna still like really cautiously be hovering over uh, Noah. <laughs> yeah. You're Noah, like, uh, are you? You're still. I think we left off, and you were spinning your. I have a knife. I have yeah. a, a, like a, a switchblade, a switchblade <laughs> butterfly a knife. knife. <laughs> uh, if you were to look at it, it's black with a nice uh, uh, black blade with silver and light, and it says Noah. It says to like Aww. to Noah, love Angie, caught like a laser etched into the blade. Um, I just realized it's probably normal size. So in his cobalt hand, it looks kind of like a big old dagger. Uh, so he, it's almost like it's like a uh, nunchuck. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's bigger yeah, than basically. him because it's bigger. Uh, but he is twirling it around. Uh, and as this happening, it's absent mind twirling and closes it. And he's looking. At, I'm just going to look at all of you and just. Um, 
you was that Dan? Did you guys hear? Did, did, was that Dan coming out of that bird? Oh, um, lion? oh my gosh! Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it definitely sounded like him, but it's definitely one of that's. I mean, but that's who we're looking for, isn't it? Yes. Well, uh, would, yeah. Would, would, would Dan cause a chaos? Like, would he run amok around a carnival? Has he done this before? I mean, oh, chaos is that sweet. usual. Feels right. He For ran through a high school hallway uh, in heart. costume. Running around a carnival sounds. Uh, and we all look different. So pretty on par. If, yeah, and if we look different, you know, if I'm this short and and Grandma looks that buff, mm. uh, maybe maybe Dan's just feathery now. That's true. Maybe, right. Did did he did he turn into one of his NPCs? I mean, I didn't. He really didn't talk to me much about what we he was planning well, Wait. he did he did talk to me but i didn't listen mm. did i remember him eating the did i remember eating him him eating the the chili at all well, i remember him going into it yeah he okay yeah i remember him first. going into yeah. it but like do you remember him because we're all here because we thought we ate the chili i think he did too because how else would okay. he gone in first okay. cool so just want to make sure we're still no, on the still, same trip. It's still the chili's yeah. fault. Okay. Uh, but I'm also, I'm visibly guilty. I feel siblings really that sad. don't talk to each other wouldn't know it. <clears throat> your little, your little <laughs> horns, where your horns are, they kind of like droop down to the side of your head a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I mean, right. I guess we should go find go your brother. Yeah, mm -hmm. I feel like, dude, you kind of just like being very chill about this, but I know if it was, I mean, if it all... was this idiot, I'd be like. Which not one? here standing talking around but this is all smack smacks anyway. samash on the head and goes ow yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah sucks doesn't it oh god not fair yeah. <laughs> no this is gonna be fun a lot right. a lot uh a lot pokier than he was last time you i know <laughs> you look up you know, Freaking Anna, stick in my uh, hand. Man, I guess we should go get Dan. Did we see where the voice came from? It's no, definitely... it was the general direction. So, like, from oh. where you guys, where you guys are standing, imagine to your left where the the thing crashed and everything like that. It's still buzzing about. Has like that weird black mist around its eyes. Um, and then, <clears throat> and then you uh see about uh probably like two hundred feet of just like open field and like you know where people are walking through and, and doing whatever but like off in the distance you can see that there is a black a shape of a crow kind of like dangling its fingers in the air um as uh like screams of panic and stuff like that come from that general direction but like in that general direction of all the scream and panic you do hear dan's voice among it <gasps> oh okay. no okay. grandma's gonna pace it y'all oh <laughs> Are you, are you are you just pacing like right here, or are you heading in that direction? I think I'm gonna have to take off. I'm gonna Let's start. Oh. Well, I'll go with you. <laughs> yeah, you just see a big hulking yeah. person, just like. <laughs> it's like How the host is grandma. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely like some mass at play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, what's how fast are you though? Uh, like they all have speed. similar speed. I'm yeah. slower, so yeah. I would be uh, jumping on whoever. Like, <laughs> I would be jumping on somebody uh, whose uh, walking uh, speed is 40 feet or higher. Uh, uh, also, what I want to know is: Is right? Grandma speed walking or running? Uh, uh, I feel like it's definitely power walking. Oh my fucking god! Tell me that barbarian is power walking. Oh, uh, <laughs> I feel like because we're unsure, it's definitely not like a flat out run. Like you know how when you're like, oh, oh, you kind of like you start up, and it's like that, like where your butt is tight, and you're like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's that power walk. It's, power it's a walk. power walk, baby. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So grandma, all that life, that you power hear, walk life. You hear Dan Danielson's voice. That and, mall walker life. <laughs> <laughs> and when you do. Your butt clenches. You kind of your your back straightens, and you begin your 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 yeah. like straight up like super quick walk uh, over in that myself. direction. Uh, and everybody else, uh, you can see Grandma is making her way in that general direction. And the definition is honestly tragic. Like it's it's on point. 
as fair. you begin making your way there, you see that there are <clears throat> crowds of people that are moving in and out between you. Like I said, it's kind of like a long direction, or it's a long way to get there. Uh, but you are pushing people out of the way, you know, like, get out of the way kind of thing. And uh, you get close enough to where you can see that there's definitely a Kenku that is causing some kind of havoc. There, She is casting some kind of magic from her hands. But just before you get there, probably a good 50 feet before you arrive, you are kind of in between, like, two tents. <clears throat> and uh, you are making your way through, and it's a, probably about, like, a 15-foot a gap between tents there. And you're making your way through, and as you do, who is in front? Grandma, you would be in front. And as you oh, okay. are power walking, you are cut off by a uh, a slow-moving small individual. Uh, you see that her hands are to her side and you see a young-looking girl. She's barefoot and you see that her skin is a dark bluish purple and in her hand she holds an oversized lollipop. And on her face, though, she wears an unsettling pig mask that reveals only her mouth. Weird. And she kind of has her head like kind of tilted at like a 45 degree angle as she steps out with, you know, like baby steps where like their feet are kind of like angled inward. Yeah. Yeah. She kind of walks out in front of you and she stops and blocks your path. And she she like slowly turns in your direction. And before you're able to like either plow through her or do whatever you want, you know, like to get around her or anything like that, you hear the crack a crack of wood to your left. And the wood kind of falls to the ground, and you like slang is like sling your head over to the side, and you see that there is a small, well, semi small creature about the size of a large dog. You see, it has green, slimy skin with giant orb like eyes that looks like they are cataracts over, long, lanky appendages, wearing an old, worn out blue, uh, brown tunic as it licks its lips and tries to balance atop its precarious perch. And like... What the... F and then finally, to your right, a deep purple smoke starts to billow out of a nearby dark corner created by two tents that are close to each other. The smoke pours out all around you all at this point, not just Grandma, but everybody here. It engulfs the area, and emerging from the purplish-black smoke, you see a woman that looks to be like a shadow of an elf. She has flowing hair as if she's underwater, and she wears a partial theater mask that has a large crescent moon on its side. And if you take a look at the stream, this is what you'll see. I was so scared that it was going to be Nick Cage. It was Nick Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> nope. Bad trip. Oh, bad trip. No. Bad trip. Oh, bad trip. Bad like trip. Bad okay. trip. I don't okay. like that. I don't like any of that. I don't know okay. about this. Bye. Mm. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, yeah, none of that was guys, nice. this is uh, this is yeah. where uh, this is where the 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 crest happens. So uh, I think uh, if, we should just uh, all sit down and lay down. <laughs> so Maybe. if uh, you kind of take a moment to realize they are very strange in approaching you like this. The one in the pig mask looking like it's, it's kind of had its head down when it approached you, Grandma, when it blocked your path. And it slowly rise, raises its head up and it has like like white beads of light coming from dark black oh. orifices where the eyes are. And That's it, fine. Uh, I don't care because you know what? Dan, when he was a child, had uh, like a three-month period where he wore uh -huh. one of those gas station scream masks that had the <laughs> LED eyes. So I've seen that. I've seen that. You wouldn't even go to the store without it. You went to school like that. I did. Okay. You That's... remember. No, you I remember. Do. How about that for some world building? I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. That was uh, your Superman costume 24-7 phase. It, it wasn't a phase, Mom. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, That's what we, we hope. Anyways, but. you <laughs> see this young uh, girl look up at you and, and she says, Where's your tickets? 
Oh. Tickets? Who? What tickets? We work here. Yeah, we work here. I'm wearing a yeah. vest. Yeah, yeah. I and then you see us on those. On. Like pull out, pull out from a pocket. That yeah, that vest. And you I slowly put it back on. You to get in, and you yeah. haven't worked. Where's what? your tickets? I mean, okay. we've done some work. All right. We are on the job right now. We are on a mission for the people running this show. Yeah, this is for Mr. Light. We're trying to help him. Who no. has the card? The card, the card. Tickets. No carnival. <laughs> I want to speak to my manager. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for this. <laughs> Well, wait, weren't we given, weren't Whoa, we given like employee cards? Like, in, like yeah, I was like going to say, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, look at that animation! Oh God, oh. you are goddamn so excellent. There's Dan. We found him. That's him. Right I know I shouldn't have invoked that. It's Dandelion right there. We're in, we're rolling now. Here, I got a nineteen. Uh, hold up. Like, I got where a four. I, where did this go? Hold up. Where the hell? Fourteen. Did this go? So, uh, in, where's, oh, there's my initiative let's go. button. Let's go. I got a 17. All right. So I'm going to go uh, down the line. Question to the DM. Players. Are yes. we considered having, uh, I know we leveled up. There was no rest in between. So cool, cool, cool. This cool, is cool. still so, from last combat. Great. Where you so are. we still have used the spell slots Correct. that we've yeah. used. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, the, broken, the only difference broken is body. that your max HP has, has heightened. Ah. That is the only difference. Okay. Uh, I got spell slots, so yeah, you could. Great. Yeah, Good if you, you have gained, if you had gained spell slots through leveling up, you you do get that new spell slot. So, uh, Svara, what is your initiative? Cuatro. Cuatro. Mm -hmm. Uh, Santosh. Oh. That is a good old seventeen. Seventeen. Mm, very nice. Nate. Nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, Noah. Ten. Ten. Grandma. Uh, hold on now, <laughs> oh, gee, Grandma. Just, just hit grandma. the initiative, Grandma. Just hit the button. Oh, Alexa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. She, she's accidentally ordering stuff on Amazon right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just, I just hit the a... initiative, Grandma. <laughs> oh, right when you yell at me, I get so nervous. Uh, it's fourteen. Okay. <laughs> it would have been better if we didn't yell at her. All Thank right. you. You're right. <laughs> oh, so it's our fault. Got it. That's the way. You got to pass that buck. When you get older, you learn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go down the line. So that is going to be Nate, then Santosh, then Grandma, then Noah, then Svata. Damn, they rolled shitty, didn't they? Or are you saying that that's... No, that is just... Well, I rolled initiative. cautious. I want it to be... Not up front and not no. in the back. I want. I rolled a two on the die. I rolled shitty. So now for their initiative is going. I to... was I was going just right behind Nana. Just like always, baby. You know, you, somebody yeah, you let it. your nan go first. That's not something to be okay. proud of. Yeah. yeah. Have you just tried? Have here. you tried to keep up with Mall Walker Nana? <laughs> <laughs> Nana will protect you, baby. Always. Ah! You just get back here. Don't don't yeah. look at this. <laughs> just sit down. Could, could we like replay that real fast and just from what everybody else heard and can you just say that exact same line again but as grandma which one the, the one he just <laughs> no no we'll protect you baby <laughs> <laughs> got it as yeah, grandma i was just got imagining it. it from the other perspective i'm like <laughs> that's what everyone else saw yeah got it okay <laughs> so uh let's see so we got the actually nate you thought you were quick enough but man that strange little slimy green creature uh oh no to your left that was kind of like slow at first and like trying to balance and stuff and that like on the on the the things next to you immediately like <laughs> zooms yeah. quickly towards you all it seems terrifying yeah, so. absolutely. <laughs> well, is there a map I'm supposed to be looking at just to make sure? No, this is just all. Okay, make it, make it sure. Okay, on your, on your head. Sure I'm okay. Um, theater of the mind. Theater of mind. So, okay, mm -hmm. um, you uh, when you, when this 
happens. It starts sprinting, so it's going to sprint towards it, the nearest object, will be, which will be Grandma, as you were up front. Um, so this first attack will Fine. be at Grandma. And you see that it is so fast that it leaves, like, a blur of itself behind it. Gross. And you mean a make, stink. Yep, yep, that's what it means. Um, yep. It's going to take a two attacks cloud. at you. One oh, is two. a 10 to hit, so that's going to miss. Okay. And then the second one is a, uh, that is a 25 to hit. Uh-oh, maybe that I should get some clothes. Mm. <laughs> um, and I've been that saying that the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that is going to be... Um, uh, this is very uncool. This is not cash money. <laughs> so, you know. Nine points of piercing damage, Grandma. Oh. You pierced you. Jeez. Okay. All right. Fine. That's nine points of piercing damage to you. This is and a that was that the made. super quickie, like, really fast, slimy green thing. Um, all right. And then now, Nate, that you have got your eyes on the prize, you see that one moves extremely fast and the other ones are on their way. What do you do? Uh, I just saw Nana get shanked. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to take my maul and uh, swing it at him. Uh, the one right in front of Grandma? Oh, yeah. Slimy. Slimy boy. Slimy green boy. Okay. Uh, so it is moving so fast that it is like nearly double vision trying to look at this thing. Um, okay. So you have disadvantage well, that's on rude. the roll. So think about that. Oh. Why do you hate your family so much, Dan? Jeez. <laughs> uh, okay. Why do you forsake us? <laughs> uh, Why do you forsake? I rolled a an amazing seven. Okay, so. I believe a seven misses. It's just a slimy ball, all right? It doesn't have to miss. Yeah, so sli yeah, the, the seven does miss. What else are you doing? That's all I can do. Excellent. Are you moving around? Are you doing anything? Because right now it I'm is I'm going to try and put grandma. myself in, in between grandma and slimy man. Well, unless At you push, one unless you push them out, if you, unless you push grandma out of the way, um, then there's no way to do that. There's basically no space. Imagine on a board, you have they're five feet apart. Maybe we hug instead. All right, then I'll I'll just get right up next to Grandma. Then. <gasps> okay. You can get right up next to Granny. We Santosh. never hug anymore, Nate. Yes, yes. <laughs> we hug we hug often. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you hear that? <laughs> what a day. <laughs> what a gift oh. for Grandma. Santos, you're up. Okay, uh, so Santos is just like, huh, bad trip, bad trip, bad trip, and he's kind of just like looking around, and which one is the closest to me? The closest to you right now would be, I'll say the one on the right, the shadow. Oh, gosh, okay. He's like, oh, this is bad. Okay, all right, you know, no, 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 you've had, you've had worse, you've had worse, you've had worse trips. God, whatever that that dude once gave you was even yeah yeah so we we got we got this we got, we got this and he tries at first to do the breath weapon uh and, and you just see him <laughs> going ah be gone and he just he just like yells that kind of peters out because yep. he's we've not had any let rest yet right correct yeah so he goes and he kind of just like kind of coughs <coughs> oh that didn't that hurt throat uh and he goes okay uh didn't work uh and then he takes out takes out his quarter staff instead uh -huh. and he goes all right and then just whacks out and in his eyes the quarter staff kind of just once in a while fluctuates between the staff and a skateboard and he just mm -hmm. and then just suddenly goes whoop and then starts uh it's almost uh, like hitting. a baseball swing with the, with yeah. the staff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Amazing. exactly. Okay. Uh, and I will use my quarter staff to attack. Okay, go for it. Uh, and I'm just going to, I just do this, right? That is a 20. That was a nat oh. 20. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, there you go. Oh. Yay for a total of a 20 vote. Face him with the skateboard. Nat 20 e. again. How awesome is that? Okay. That's the third one he's rolled. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I don't, if you know anything about me, <laughs> if you know anything about any of my other streams, he drops cameras. Is that <laughs> I 
fail so many times. I don't get successes, let alone that 20s. So I am just... Uh, I, I'm scared because I feel like I'm just using all of my luck on this game, and then I'm just going to get demolished on my other streams. All my other characters are going to die. Anyways, I'm going to roll damage here, so... Why is my nat 20, my nat 20 roll is not working on, on camera here. Oh man, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna have more. We're gonna have many, many more. This guy, feel it. I'll oh, there to, it I is! Have, I have to add it in naturally. Naturally. Yay! There you go, nat 20. Uh, uh, with that, uh, oh, so how do I, I use the, the, how do I work this? What's that? Uh, I clicked because it popped up. Are you sure? Are you, are you in uh, uh, D&D Beyond? It should be automatic. Uh, did it? I rolled it, and I don't think I... Okay, maybe I tried to say roll for damage. Uh, let's see in yeah, chat. you rolled for damage. I did. Okay, there it is. So it did do that. But it gave me multiple numbers, and I don't, yeah, I don't know how... It's because one of them's for two-handing, one of them's for one-handed. Yeah. yeah. So okay. two-handing like a baseball bat, you're looking at the eight and four there. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so, so that... Is that also... Yeah. Accounting for the critical? That is. That's 2d8 okay. that you just... Or, oh, I'm sorry. 1d6 plus 1d8. That did not account for the critical. Why does yours... Hold on. What the freak happened? He he rolled... No, so that is the critical. So he got... What the freak? Are you one-handing or two-handing it? Well, he's two I did the two-handed. One-handing is a, one a lot better. Well, I guess, do you roll <laughs> twice or do you double? I think it's supposed uh, to double it. We roll it's, dice. I think we, roll we roll dice twice. Okay, oh. so then, then you rolled a oh, four man. and a one. Yeah, that's what I say in one Cause, hand because you got a lot better. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where do you see this? I don't okay. know. If so, you click on the numbers, on it. it opens yeah, it up and you can see it's one d six plus two, one d eight plus two, and then they rolled it again for the critical. And then so the yeah. first round, the d six was eight, the d eight roll was a four, and then oh, the second round, the d six roll was a three, see. and the d eight roll was a one. Okay, so yeah, since you did that, yeah, two handed one d eights. So you got four plus one. That is a five uh, plus nothing. It, it won't. Yeah, it already. So you got pluses. five points of damage on that crit. That was such a. Sick. I feel like such a wasted Sick. that twenty. <laughs> five points of damage. Are you shitting me? It is. It is five hundred percent more damage than I did. <laughs> See? Okay. This is. Well, you rolled a two went. and a one on the d8s. <laughs> okay. I get, this is where I got shit on. Okay, got it. There. See? All balanced in the world. Okay. Uh, Nat 20. And then okay. what happens? Nothing. So right. you... Okay. <laughs> well, that is my luck. So I just... I swing... Oh, which kind of makes sense considering that it is a smoke-based uh, creature. So I, I just... I imagine him True. just like going through and kind of almost fanning it. And then he kind of... He kind of does that, and then he kind of starts like, like he sees it as like a skateboard, and he just kind of like, oh, fan, fan it, fan it away, fan it away. <laughs> <laughs> a one is gonna land on screen right now, but this is just to get it on uh, our overlay or whatever. Don't worry. about There that. we go. Okay, now it's back, and we have nat ones and nat twenties rolling on screen. So Woo! next up, Woo -woo! Uh, actually, uh, Santosh, do you have any? Do you want to move? Oh, anywhere I can do, or do anything. I can do bonus actions now. I can sure do. Thing. Uh, I I. Now, this is my first time ever playing a monk that I can remember. Uh, to use my bonus action, I have Unarmed Strike and mm -hmm. Flurry of Blows. That's Does great. Flurry of Blows, but that requires a key point. Key. Yeah, it yeah. costs key points. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. That's what I thought. So for that, I do have two. You have two. You should have two, yeah. Yes. So I will, I will use one key point. And I just feel like... Excuse me. As uh, as I see it just kind of blowing around me and not feeling like it's doing much, I I put the staff down. I'm like, oh, don't come closer. Oh, and he's just kind of, <laughs> kind of like get into this what looks like a boxer stance, but it's not really. He's never boxed. He's not a physical guy. <laughs> but then he just sees like feels this kind of weird energy well up inside yeah. of him, and it, and like it's kind of almost like it kind of takes over his body as if though it's kind of like um if someone who's never worked out before jumps into the body of a, of a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. They never did it. They have that, but I feel like, you know, when you're that, that muscle memory kind of kicks in. And then, so that's just kind of what happens. And then he just seemed like, just start punching out. And like, maybe the first two punches are kind of like the, you know, the testing inexperienced, the, <laughs> testing the water inexperienced feel. And next thing you know, he just like starts like doing uppercuts and just like, like just boxing forward as it. if though he's been trained all his life. 
And right. even him himself, he's like, what, what's going, what's happening? <laughs> Santosh, give me two more attacks. Uh, uh, unarmed, and I, unarmed strikes. Uh, I was going to do uh, flurry. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that flurry is. of flurry blows. Blows two, two unarmed strikes. Yeah. Yes, okay, so... Uh, hit DC. That is a first one is a 12. 12 just hits. Woo! Uh, so I'll roll damage for that one. That is. There we go. There. <laughs> Why couldn't I have gotten a nat 20 on this one? That's a six damage. Okay. And then one more. Uh, again, a 12. 12 hits. Yeah, damn. And that's five damage. Nice. Hey. Hey. Uh, six plus five is 11 plus your original four. That's 15 total. 15 total points of damage. Mm. Amazing. Sick. And they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody explodes. <laughs> ha, ha. Santosh, uh, do you want to... You got some movement. What do you want to do with it? Uh, I kind of just stand there, I think, in stunned moment to come kind of just like, what just, okay. what just happened? Yep. All right. Next up is going to be Grandma. I just want to let you know something. And uh -oh. that is that if I do good <laughs> and score a critical hit uh, with a melee weapon, uh -huh. or if I reduce something to zero HP with one, then I get to go again. Are you a Ooh. berserker? Um, yes, I am. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Level Just, two, y'all. Just warning you. <laughs> and so because of that... Uh, I am prepared. I currently have equipped uh, more than one melee weapon. Um, <laughs> because if you have the option, why would you say no to a great axe, a hand axe, another hand axe, and a javelin? All right. So, Grandma, and your what, own are we, hands as what are we attacking with first here, though? Can you build the scene for me and let me know how close the green menace is to my present location? So the green menace literally shanked you in the side um, and it like ran so fast that it like it did one of those things where it's like the Sonic the Hedgehog like puts its feet down but still slides like three or four feet to, to come to a stop. A bit tired, but okay. Okay, well. <laughs> all right. uh, uh, Grandma, you're fired. I'm not impressed. Ouch. I'm not impressed by that. Uh, so the Don't creature comes to a stop uh, about, you know, four, three or four feet away from you. Uh, Nate comes in, tries to swing at it, and it moves completely out of the way, but, it, like, Nate swings through the blur of the image that the creature left behind, um, and uh, it just kind of looks over in your direction. Now, that is the green slimy one, but the 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 the, or the, the little kid that looks like uh, a little kid, at least, uh, that has, like, the weird pig face um, mask that she's wearing, uh, oh, she is currently, like... Uh, like kind of taking her hands going like this and you can see large claws coming out of her her, her fingernails. They kind of like start to extend. <laughs> what? Ew. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. And she has like really sharp teeth. How close is she? She's also right next to you. She was the one that stopped you in your in your tracks. Right. I was you hoping running. that was not the answer, but that's totally cool. <laughs> um, let me just pull my wig up. <laughs> Grandma. So, uh, but, I feel like the green menace is, you know, uh, has been occupied for this moment. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Grandma is going to kind of, like, shift with with the intention that only an elder can. <laughs> I'm murdering a child. To this child. <laughs> and, you know, everyone else is seeing, You! Youngling! Where are your parents? <laughs> <laughs> and Grandma is um, just going to, like, great axe it. Okay. Cool <laughs> I thought you were going to spank it. Like, <laughs> says, you've been a naughty child. No. You need spanking. Oh, 24. What the hell, Grandma? Yeah, that hits. Chop. Oh, my God. Let's take care of those weird little fingers. It's uh, oh. it's it's, it's somebody's, a good thing. Somebody's keeping a body count right for grandma, right? <laughs> it's a good thing you don't have. I have to get have, tattoos, uh, guys. I have to get tattoos. It's a good thing you don't have yeah, that like crit on nineteen thing. <laughs> what? I don't like. It's a good thing you don't have that crit on nineteen thing. That would have been a crit oh for you. God. Um. Anyways, that is six points of damage to the uh, foolish little girl. 
That's it. Dang. All right. Uh, We're level two, son. What do you think? <laughs> KP, I'm feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled up so hard. I was like doing my snaps, like West Side Story. I was like, mm, mm, mm. we're coming to town. We're going to break you down. And you're in our way. We got to get our grandbaby back. And nothing. <laughs> and that's it. None. Yeah, six points a day. Cool. I'll back away. That's all I can do. <laughs> Y'all have like these long, drawn out speeches and then six. <laughs> I love Listen. It. Yep. If you can't have the mentality of a level 20, why are you playing? <laughs> this is what like, you're paying for the experience, Dan. I you're not it. paying for what the shitty don't, roles hey, are. You're paying again, this is, this also, is also, don't be afraid to think outside of the box. Don't think D&D &D when we play this game. Think. I know, but oh, okay. I really life, wanted to kill her. Handled, I know, <laughs> kill the shit out of her. I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, I have no scruples left. That's great. That's great. Amazing. Because what happens is you go in and you give her this speech and you chop off one of her hands. Her hands just goes flying away. And when okay. it lands on the ground, you can see that there's no reaction. It's it's the hand that was like holding a lollipop. The lollipop <laughs> lands on the ground. And she looks over at the, the hand with the on the ground that has the lollipop and she goes over them. And picks it up and puts it back on her wrist and like does a little like as it pops back on and she just looks over in your direction. She goes, no tickets, no carnival. And she's going to jump up on top of you and try to like scratch your face off. Uh, All right, grandma, this is going to be a claw attack at you here. Okay. Bum, oh bum, my God. Bum. Grandma, that is going to be a, a 16 to hit. I believe that well, hits uh, with that 14 AC. Yeah, I guess you know that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can no, lie. You can try right. and lie. <laughs> I was sitting here like, hmm. if I say nothing, perhaps if I, I put say on nothing. my guild tabard. <laughs> <laughs> Very quickly, I guess. Lucky just... <laughs> you that it is a minimum damage for four points of slashing damage. Cute. Okay. Cool. But I need slashing. you to make a constitution saving throw. But what if she didn't? Oh. Yeah. Do you just just curious. I just what if. Uh, you know, I don't think our community would like you poisoning grandma. It's not poison <laughs> per se. You're actively, actively. Okay, it's, um, it's a nine. Oh, no, Ooh. grandma! Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, Grandma, no. your fury you in your eyes and your teeth grinding as you swing. She jumps on your face and like sticks her claws into your face and black tendrils of veins like start to crawl through your face and through your like you could see into your eye, the little white part of your eye, like little black veins start to cross over into your eye and you cannot move. That might be worse than poison. You are paralyzed. Oh dear. Well, oh dear. Okay. Okay. All right. That is the end of its turn. That's fine. The next Got turn it. is the shadow. Yes, I'll that stay Sun right here. <laughs> that Santosh is fighting. Oh. Huh. Uh, it looks over in your direction, Santosh, and it's wearing that really creepy theater mask that just constantly have like has like a giant smile on it, and it just kind of like. Twitches its head like several times in your direction. No, nope. no, nope. and uh, it vibrates its face and head like really quick at you, and then comes. <laughs> I kind of like that. What are those creatures from? Uh, was this not Spirited Away? Uh, Princess Mononoke. Yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. Princess little Mononoke. Tree, the little, the little fear spirits. The, the yeah, spirit makes the, the rattling mask. noises. Yeah. Oh, so God. except uh, a thousand. I gotta make something so cute, and make it creepy. Oh, <laughs> they were already kind of creepy, but. So it comes, it comes to you in your direction, and right before it gets to you to, like, looks like what it's going to do is attack you, it stops. It's like oh. a little bit of shadow and smoke kind of follows it, and then it looks in your direction, and the mask's mouth begins to get really wide. And when the mask's mouth gets really wide, the energy from you starts to suck into its mouth. Oh, mm. and this is going bad to be juju, bad juju, bad a juju, bad juju, bad juju. Attack apparently. That is a sixteen to hit Santosh. It is Santosh. Oh my God. That means that you are hit with with the no souls. Uh -huh. Your soul get eaten. Oh, all nine, right. Okay. Nine uh -huh. points 
of necrotic damage. <gasps> um, not to mention, Santosh, you start to feel drained. The muscles that you were using to punch and oh. and and really get in there and try to do some damage to the shadow begin to get smaller. Oh. And oh, no. I'm just take you a nap. lose two strength. So you're <gasps> down oh. to what? 13 strength. That's some damn. I don't oh like my that. gosh. <laughs> What oh my sort God. of nonsense? Your muscles Why begin to atrophy. Fuckery is this? As it like sucks the soul out of you, and you begin oh. to atrophy, your strength kind of diminishes. I'm, uh, I'm All just, right, I'm just gonna go take a nap. Is he transforming thing. back? This is <laughs> <laughs> Noah. You say this, and now it is your turn. All I'm right, sorry, I have, I have a curveball for this now. Um, could one of you for uh, could one of you just volunteer? Blindly for something. Yeah, real I'll quick. do it. I almost okay. killed you last session. Okay, so <laughs> I said earlier that I would just be clinging onto the back of or a leg of or yeah. the shoulders of yeah. somebody as we were all running. So if we just replay that whole thing, I've been holding onto whatever cape or something uh, <laughs> that the captain's had, and then I jump, uh, I'm off, so I'm near captain. That's just geographically, sure. that's where I'm at then. Um, that puts you uh, right next to the, the little green gooey one. Okay, uh, this, is, this is going crazy. Um, I'm just patting my chest and I'm, I'm humming, uh, is, is Svada near me or no? Uh, Svada. I, I was kind of towards the back. Yeah. Uh, well, you and Captain would both, would both hear, uh, would hear me, uh, just humming, uh, the street, uh, the, uh, the lyrics, um, to I Want It That Way by Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and it's just like, you are my fire. <laughs> the one. And Svara might, might know that, um. Angie has a thing for 90s, like, get hype songs. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And it, was, and it was always her way to, like, get in the zone. And, so, I um, has pre partied with Angie. So, it's just me. I'm like, you are my fire, my one. And um, I'm going to cast. I'm just trying to, like, give myself, like, an emotional barrier, like, something to, like, get my. And I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mage um, Armor up. So, that brings my AC up to 16. But it's a first level spell, and apparently, whenever I cast a first level spell, that gives apparently you the right to, if you sure want does. to trigger wild magic, that's a thing sure should you desire. Sure, fucking does. Because uh, there's no I role mean, but you for don't it. You have to do it. Correct. <laughs> or do you though? Like, so here's the deal. Mm hmm. Roll a d1000. A what? Oh, oh wait, Jesus! I got a one thousand. What roll? That doesn't even exist. I gotta, All I gotta right. Google this. Okay. How do I have to Google how to do this? I think it, no, I think you just do it. tens. And the, can't it's you do it in uh, roll twenty? Is there a thing that you can do like the RD one thousand? Google. Maybe know. on Google. If Google can't, if Google can't do it, you can do it in chat probably. Yeah, no, I feel like I you can do a, it in the. I need to put a. I need to put it in chat. I have up to a D one hundred. Oh, okay. Here, so figure here, it. I found I, it. I, I just Here's got, the link. I just did it. I did okay. it. Okay. It's a got? very round 682. <laughs> a very round 682. I don't know. You chose a very large spectrum here, so I don't know if that's good <laughs> or bad. I, I don't even know what it's for. Oh, my freaking God. All right. That's <laughs> not Holy what shit. I needed to hear. Oh, no. Maybe oh, it no, is. No. Maybe it was a cool thing. Noah, you, mm -hmm. you cast mage armor on yourself. Yes, um. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like um, your breathing right now. Yeah, um, if and you kill us, you're, uh, you're, you're not have to you help us make new you're shit. You're not dead per se. Oh, good. But, <laughs> Bro. but your visage, uh -huh. yourself, your everything mm -hmm. becomes incorporeal. Oh. You become a wraith for a moment <laughs> how long is a moment <laughs> okay we'll um see. the rest That's... of the fight okay you so... are for uh -huh. all intents and purposes okay does this come with like a toolkit you a are yes. untouchable right. Here is your toolkit, noah Ooh. so should i like have like should i google like should i just get the i got the... you i got you homie. okay all right all right all right um, then so here is it in Discord, and here is it in okay. uh, 
Zoom. All right. Um, you uh, are a wraith. Okay. All right. This was not exactly same. Okay. Same. Well, I mean, I look dope now, but um, <laughs> I look. You are don't you a wraith with your you own mind? Just, you just look like you, but wraith like. Oh, okay. I, I, thought I, looked, got... I thought I looked like this cool shadow. No, you, you, you look me. like okay. a, a goofy kobold that is now he, a wraith. He got a lot more health. You um, finally got what you wanted. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, do, I get, not do I get like seen. all the stats? Do I get like the, you the health and all that too? You are literally oh, a wraith. Sweet Jimmy. So basically, kind of like you polymorphed into a wraith. All yeah. Basically. Okay. So yeah. So okay then. So I. Uh, I'm neutral evil. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you are my fire. You are. And now I'm like, all right, we got to get out of here. I'm done. With, I'm done fucking around with that. Um, and then, uh, all right, well, can I, can I do Mage here? armor I, goes up. And then. Mage armor goes up. Poof. Uh, so I have a better <laughs> AC than, than, well, yeah. Um, and I'm going to fly 60 feet. Uh, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> I love this for you. Let me see. Uh, I can move through other creatures. Uh, <laughs> Noah. Please, please move six, through Svarak. I, I, I can't make an attack. Hilarious. I can't make an attack, no. but I, I want to basically be, uh, put myself in the middle of like the triangle formation of all of them. Okay. And um, in, in this... I'm fed up thing. I'm gonna like hover like <laughs> like in the middle of all little this little, this little yeah, ghostly um, kobold it, starts to yeah, hover. Uh, yeah, I went super saiyan like a ghostly <laughs> super saiyan. Uh, but uh, they they um they would all uh I would want to bring them all to me. Like I'm basically just gonna just like we work here. Oh wait, no no. Okay, so <laughs> we work here. Wait, can they hear me? Whatever. And it's just like Mira, look. <laughs> I'm telling you, we all work here. This is unnecessary. <laughs> mira, mira. I love yeah. that. <laughs> we work here. We were commissioned by Mr. Lai to do a job. We don't need this. You're getting in our way. We have something better than a ticket. We have our, do we have like employee badges or something like that, right? Yes. I'm wearing mine and they still We have these vests. Me. Do you think we got these vests at the gift shop? No, <laughs> no. Where would you even get that vest? Do you have a vest? We have vests. And I'm gonna try to just like ghost convince them. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. We'll does see. We'll see does what happens. Noah realize he's turned into this thing? I don't. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just really fed up. I don't so know I'm how you react about anything. being able to fly, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see maybe afterwards. It, but I'm in the middle. It probably Spot wasn't up. 60 feet, but yeah. no, you're you're able to triangulate between three yeah. the three enemies. Yeah. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. You kind of yeah. are the top of the pyramid. Did you know? I feel like this was such a missed opportunity. You should have sang the Danny Phantom song. <laughs> <laughs> As well, I, didn't know, I didn't know. I didn't know I was gonna turn, but yeah. <laughs> I love it. He was just thirteen. Was <laughs> very strange machine. <laughs> it was designed for you, a world unseen. He's gonna catch them all. All right, Captain. I went to Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> all right, Sfada, Sfada, it's your turn. Uh, Sfada sees what happens to Noah. It is just like, oh. Uh, so focus 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 um and the thing that smacked her brother uh what is it doing the thing that smacked uh, your that, brother that ate his soul that ate his soul. That, yeah. That, that, yeah i don't think she's comprehended all of that yet it is kind of looking up into the air at noah currently um Okay. Yeah, but it's right in front of Santosh, but it's looking up at Noah because Noah like flew up into the air and turned into a fucking ray. So that happened. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, she will think really hard and then pull up her hands. And this has already worked once, but um, we're gonna see again uh, a puff of smoke emerge from her hands well okay first she has to move to get within 10 feet of it which i don't think she's that far behind no, you, you else, probably anyway. move like 10 15 feet to get there and you're good okay so yeah we're gonna move to be within 10 feet of this creature mm -hmm. and uh casts poison spray at it okay and that is a saving throw on its part and that is constitution a con save and it fails pretty bad i think all right a... I think a seven fails, so 
Okay, Woo! yes, it, it, it's uh, it was a thirteen DC. So, okay. um, okay, I, I don't know if my roll populated the thing. It did not populate it. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna roll myself. Yeah, do it's a one D twelve, and that's a uh, twelve. What poison damage? Yes. Yes. Finally. Very good. Um. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad the table virtual tabletop thing didn't work because that was <laughs> cool for me. Um, is it still is it still around? What happens as this like bluish purpley cloud well, comes from Svara's hand and kind of just like wraps around it? Svara, the most powerful magic that you cast uh, have cast so far uh, emanates from your hand, um, and it surrounds the individual um, when it dissipates this ga this gaseous form that you send out towards it when it dissipates the creature is no longer there Ooh. but Ooh. it begins to emanate from the smoke again and nothing seems to have happened it seems to be immune to poison yeah okay <laughs> uh so Svara is just very loudly gonna curse and say, <laughs> "Son of a bitch! It likes poison. Don't no poison." Uh, and then, as a bonus action, she's going to think of the entire reason she chose to do a druid class in the first place, <laughs> and squint really hard, and go, Aah! and then open her eyes and wonder if she is a wolf yet. Could you make Ish. that noise again? Can that concentration noise, please? <laughs> Definitely a wolf. Yep. Am I a wolf yet? <laughs> That's a wolf. <laughs> Sorry. This is a really great visual of somebody trying to transform. Like an animorph, an animal Listen, pooping into another. No, she has no idea what wild shape <laughs> feels like. Do this you do legit. know how a wolf sounds like? No, the. Concentration was not the wolf sound. That was the Svara oh, sound. Yeah. Okay, okay, so if yeah. you are trying to morph right now, like how stupid would you feel if you made the animal? I know, I know, like, no, as I know, yourself? I know. Like, I'm trying it's to be cat now. Like what? Right. <laughs> so you try to become a wolf. Uh, you use your bonus action to do so. Um, yes. Unfortunately, because you are not of the moon, a bonus action you cannot use your animal shape. Correct. Um. This is an correct. action to do so. Oh, okay. I, oh, you know what? It's not gonna be a wolf, but I can bonus action wild shape into my starry form. You so what if she just can. fucks up at wolf and comes out something <laughs> else? Okay, what do you want to become? Um, well, I have three starry forms, and we're gonna go with um, starry form of the archer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're like mm, wolf, 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 <laughs> and you're just that's not what she said. You're like holding your breath, uh, and in your head you hear. No, this would totally be better. <gasps> and suddenly, Bitch. Svara, your appearance changes drastically. Yes. Your hair woof, becomes long. So long almost as the like the length of your entire body and begins to flow behind you. The dark uh hair begins to light up a purplish, uh, almost like galaxy-like color. Uh, kind of flowing behind you with stars kind of flowing in between each of the strands. Um, and you start to see these hands start to kind of come up behind your back. And two of the hands reach out behind you and pull out from your hair this giant, uh, beautiful bow and kind of hand it to you and like drop it right in front of you. And she's like, there we go. That's better. Thanks. Um, well, I can't move because I think I've used my movement and I've done everything. So this is at the end of the turn. This is what's standing in front of you instead of Svara. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And, and so Svara's hair is doing smaller, that same. Yeah. That same, like, waving as if there was, like, wind blowing through it, but there's not kind of thing? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So Santosh has gotten smaller, and I'm flying as high as I can, and Sparta's got, like, 
dope star <laughs> yeah, arms. Dope star well, arms. Oh, also, yeah. uh, the four, uh, Svara is now shedding bright light in a 10 foot radius Ooh, and dim light for huge. another 10, 10 foot radius. So, uh, uh, Stargirl be glowing. Svara, oh. because you are glowing, you notice that the shadow that was attacking Suntosh. It disappeared and reappeared through the, the mist that you threw at it. But once you start glowing that light, it kind of... It kind of reels back from it. <gasps> hmm. Okay. Does, uh, does, does, it get, does it get out of melee range for Santosh? <laughs> no, it doesn't actually move, but... Oh, okay. It, like, reels back. It's just angie. It angie. <laughs> Turn on it, lad! <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, then, him up. Uh, at the end of your turn, we go back to the top, and the creature that was super duper fast uh, that jumped on or like oh stabbed grandma right in the gut at the very beginning, sees that Nate takes a swing at it and will attempt to also uh, return in kind um, as it like does like a, a dodge in and out and then goes straight for the like in between parts of your of your knees because you can see like the joints there. What a, he don't what know a horrible coworker. Okay. <laughs> Uh, first Worst. attack is going to be a 13 to hit. That does not that hit, does not you, hit. Nate. Who even are you? Are you I in made finance? A metal. <laughs> yeah. And then the what next is one is going to what be... What department? That one is a Marketing. 22 to hit. That HR. Hit. Uh, that's probably hit. HR. All right. This feels like HR. Then <laughs> that is going to be... Uh... Eight points of piercing damage. Uh, what? Jeez. Oh, geez. you know what? Then it makes a third attack, apparently, and that is a 16 to hit, so it misses. We're level two? Just, I yeah, mean, it, I it, it does like that. a... <laughs> <laughs> we leveled up and immediately you're trying to... Got demolished. <laughs> hey, you didn't, you didn't think this would be easy, did you? All right. Well, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> The creature, the creature <laughs> will know, right? try and then after it like it stabs into your leg and realizes that you're made of metal and then stabs like in between the joints and like kind of like digs its dagger in until it finds like a really important part and it does damage to you. It pulls the dagger out and then it like quickly <laughs> and like slinks away and runs and like super hey, quickly away. No. What's no. important in a robot leg? <laughs> what, 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 the, the whole kneecap. functioning kneecap. All right. Uh, it runs away, and as it does, uh, Nate and Grandma, you can both get an attack of opportunity against it. But Great. this is at disadvantage because of how quick it is. Okay, well. Fun fact, I just realized I'm not high in the air. I can only hover, apparently. So. Oh. There might have been a momentary, like, scoot up. I got a 17. Up, 17 on a disadvantage? Okay. Yeah. That hits. I did uh, unarmed strike, and I got an 8. Uh, oh, Grandma, you're know. paralyzed. You don't get nothing. <gasps> I know. I'm oh. a little paralyzed. Oh. That's what I thought, but I was like, maybe he, <laughs> maybe he changed his mind. Uh, and I'm going to... Trying to catch you fucking up. Yep. For the first time... <laughs> Uh, as I'm swinging my maul at this, kind of parts of my armor start like opening and like spreading apart, uh, and then a white fire, a bluish white fog is going to come up and surround my hammer. Ooh. Uh, and I'm going to do a. I'm going to go ahead and add a divine smite. Ooh. Yes. Even though I'm paralyzed, can I just like? radiate grandma love to my <laughs> grandchild <laughs> he sees it in your eyes i feel it the link uh, it's the bond the bond has has been awoken so that will be i call a upon total thee. of let's see 18 damage oh Ooh. my gosh yeah. 18 damage in that one swing because of smite dude pa early level paladins yeah Anyways, Whoa, Nate, you, rolling you a bar again. it ran away as it stabs your knee. It's like, <laughs> and, and like starts to slink away. And you take your hammer and look at it and you look at it and you're about to make a swing and you look about two feet in front of it and you swing for the two feet in front of it and it runs, runs right underneath your hammer and 
all you see is a pile of green goo now under your hammer as you like lift it up off the ground. That's for Nana. It's for Nana. That's all Nana's right. baby. Uh, that creature That's is right. dead for all. Nana's Woo! baby, my grandbaby. Dirt. Wait. All right. Yeah, you heard that? Is gone. So, Nate, do you have anything else? Uh, no. Santosh, you are up. You feel a little bit weaker <laughs> than you were before, oh but you're up. Oh Dude, I think I could use something to eat. I'm getting the munchies, bro. Okay. Um, and he kind of just looks up and he goes, is that smoke creature again still there? It is, but it looks to be like kind of freaking out that your your sister is glowing. Um, at that moment, uh, uh, I look at, I remember the staff that's by my side. I'm like, dude, do you know anything about this? Can you please tell them that we work here? Oh, I don't think it's going to matter. What? They don't oh, come care on. if you work here or not. What, what? They keep asking the same goddamn question every second. Did you get here? Did you come here without a ticket? We work here. Did you what, come do you here staff without members? a ticket? Uh, and then I tried to, did we get a ticket? I thought we got a ticket, right? No, well, no because you punch cards. Yeah, they gave us punch cards. Those aren't tickets. Because, because your friend let us in. Yeah, uh, that's what I mean. Did, did, did your friend let us in or did your friend score us tickets? That's is the this part like when a vampire isn't allowed in. to come in the house if they don't ask? Oh, dear. Well, yeah, we're in the house, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we were like, yo, yeah, yeah, come on in. Or it's just like, yo, no, I got him tickets. <laughs> he, he was just uh, like, let him in. Uh, if, okay. If, if um, this goes, was a fey contract, I mean, is word binding. I mean, I, he kind of was like, oh, dude, I never thought this would bite me in the ass. I've gotten into so many concerts without tickets. Oh, Swara was right. I think, it's, I think it's definitely more, like, in-depth than that, but sure. I mean, what do I do now? What do we do? Fight him! Don't let me oh, die! On. You can try. <laughs> You're a staff. You can't die, can no, you? No, that's what I mean. I don't know. There's there's probably a lot of, like, lore behind well, that, but whatever. Well, I mean, if you want to live, you got to help out. Put in your weight a little here, all right? What can you do? Oh, help me. What? I can't do anything until you, like, you know, do the whole magic thing with me and, and we we really get to know each other and you take me out on a date or something. I don't know. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are you third dating me? <laughs> Look, we need to get to know each other before I feel yes. comfortable with you. Okay, but that's fair. Best okay, description that's fair. of attunement ever. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, fine. And then you just see... <laughs> Instead of using his staff, he's gonna use he's gonna use this thing to uh, just bludgeon as Ooh, a bludgeon nice. weapon. nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it is magical, so it does magical damage when it hits. So uh, I sure lost the hold up. What was the what was the name of this again? The witch the the what was it again? Uh, the witch light vein, I think. Yeah, witch light. Look, if if KP hadn't stolen this, we might actually all die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, okay. So, so I can just literally use it as a yeah, as a in one ha in the hands of one who is attuned to it. Uh, no, that's a mace. Okay, it, so it's still just a magical weapon. So you can just roll with it as a regular mace instead of it being a plus three. Uh, okay, uh, I don't. Uh, how do I? I don't have a mace. On mm, me. So I need to grab. Roll, at least. Yeah, I was gonna say because I think a mace is not. It's you roll with your strength. So okay, uh, roll which with your I strength. lost two of. Yeah, so okay. roll with your strength and then roll with your proficiency. And that's okay. just a regular d20 plus your strength plus your proficiency, and that'll be the, the total. Okay. Uh, fuck. But my, uh, would my, since I'm now a 13 strength, how does that drop my strength? You uh, you're a one. plus one strength. Yeah. Instead of plus two. Okay. Correct. Yeah, you just drop by one. So uh, I'll just do, I'll just do a, is there, I'll just do it in chat here. So on. Um, how do we how do we do it in the Twitch uh, chat? Again? Uh, in Twitch chat, uh, it's exclamation point roll d twenty, no spaces. Okay. Um, roll d twenty. Hey, there you go. You got. That's a nine plus what? one plus proficiency. That's a ten it's plus two. Ten plus uh, uh, what sort of proficiency again? Yep, our two. proficiency is two. 
Okay, there we 12. go. So that's a 12? Yes. And 12 is just what you need, literally. Yeah! Just what you need to hit. <laughs> I, uh, I need you to see Santos goes, well, if that's not going to work, if you're not going to contribute, here we go. And I just... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Uh, so that means that when you attack, you do a 1d6 uh, damage uh, okay. plus your strength. And so I'll do 1d6 so plus one. That's a two plus one. That's a three point of damage. Three points of damage, but it is not reduced due to it being magical. Wait, did my previous one get reduced? It did. Oh, your, your, your punchy punches lame. did. Lame. Okay, let's see. Three points of damage. What else are you doing? Uh, I, what can you describe? What happens? And based off of that, I will decide. So Do I notice the the, dan the oh. <gasps> you know what? I'm gonna do this. Okay. When you hit it. Okay. It's reeling back from Svara's light uh -huh. that she's emanating. And with the combination of that and you hitting it, it's mm -hmm. only like, really? It's only like one HP away from death? But I'm going to say because of the combination of moves there and the fact that you've used the weather vane as a fucking Cause physical it, weapon. Yeah, because it does radiant damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When, whenever it's magically hit. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, mad. Yeah, yeah. So I'll say that when it hits, he's like, Ooh! flying through the air and it smacks the shadow across the face and it lights up the shadow just Woo! like lights on fire and it's like ah! screaming all over the place it's on fire <laughs> that's um, gonna be my ringtone <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's screaming and then suddenly like the flames go out and the shadow <laughs> down Oof. into the the uh like the darkness uh all around you and uh oh. it goes away and it dies oh nice work dude <laughs> see that wasn't so hard good going bro I, and right else? uh and then i kind of just like i think there's like a burst of, uh, do i get my strength back after killing it or is that just uh, not according to it i don't think so not until you take <laughs> a long not until you take a rest you mm -hmm. like, oh. just see santos like taking a Woo! That took me out. Wow, that took a little out of me. Um, and he kind of just looks at me and goes, "Ready for round two? And he kind of just like, eh, eh, looking at the stab, <laughs> and then runs to the next closest thing. So two okay. of them died. It was just one left now. There right? is only the weird uh, zombie-looking thing. All right, he goes. So he just wants up. He goes, "Batter up!" It is currently it's... on top of Grandma's face, like digging its claws into right. her temples. You have my blessing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just hear him go respect your elders <laughs> and just wax it uh because that's the indian boy. way that's the indian way uh and i will use my bonus action for again flurry of blows oh, okay Jeez. double Bless flurry to that so that's twice again so yep. i'll do two more bow bow that is a not 20. No, oh, uh, yes, no, what? yes. What? what? It says a 1d 20 plus a four. I don't know. No, it's an, eight, an uh, 18. You rolled an 18. Okay. If you click, oh. if you click on yeah, it, it'll yeah, show okay. you the okay. makeup. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So that that is a 22, 22 to hit. definitely hits. I'm going to roll damage for that. That is oh five God. bludgeoning damage there. Damn. Nice. Okay. Okay. And then a next hit. <laughs> oh, that, that is... Oops, I shouldn't have hit the... Uh, that was a five to hit, so that probably didn't. The second one does not hit. So yes. you smash it into uh, Grandma's... Like, Grandma's got this thing, like, it jumped on her, so she grabbed it, like, midair, but it still dug its claws in. So she's, like, struggling with it, and you smack it across the face, and it cracks, like, the, the, um, uh, the pig's mask like halfway off her face oh. and underneath the pig's mask you just see rotting flesh <laughs> and you see like like a missing eye where and you just see like below the eye you see like whatever's back behind it you know like the nasty brain or whatever oh. back behind the eye mm. and it like nope. turns and looks at you slowly and jumps off a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> you mean grandma's paralyzed <laughs> Uh, you just see like Santos look at it and go, 
<laughs> wait, fun. wait. Did it? Did you just say that it jumped on the Suntosh? No, it jumped off of you. Oh, did it? It did. Oh, uh -oh. Did so it. it is your turn. Are you sure that that's <laughs> what you want? Because <laughs> Grandma, you're still paralyzed. But <laughs> fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was so ready. The opportunity like, oh, attack. Opportunity attack. It's my one oh. reaction. Look, here's oh. the deal. You're paralyzed. <laughs> Can I also, just I can I just you, hurl I, the dead weight of my body? <laughs> <laughs> it's yes, a move I call yes, Brandma's love. Can. Yes, you fucking can. Roll to throw your fucking like absolutely paralyzed body on top of this creature. You just flop like a fish. Dude, yeah, with, with it, yeah, she's magic carping it. it. Magic -carping it. I need you. I'm it. magic carping it. I'm magic carping it. I'm magic carping it. And here's the thing: this is with extreme intention, and you know that that is how magic works. Magic is intention. It's all intention. Okay. And this is grandma's love. Grandma. And it's just like there are a lot of grandmas out there that completely fill the spectrum of ability. And we can't always do what we want to do, right, grandmas? But we're doing this. For all the grandmas we're watching out there. Yeah. All right. For all the grandmas. Sound off, the chat. Sound off in the chat. All right. So For all the grandmas grandma, in the chat. Grandma, roll a strength <laughs> athletics. A, a roll a strength athletics to like burst out of the paralyzation for a second to hurl yourself. I'm so glad that you asked for that. <laughs> what do you got? It's a 24. Holy shit. Woo! 19 a... on the dice. She clenches her butt cheeks. <laughs> the butt All that power rocking. <laughs> clench. <laughs> Why is there so much talk of grandma's butt cheeks? <laughs> hey, you're usually the one starting. Because yeah, me it is normal. <laughs> Nate starting it is not. <laughs> Look, Nate all right. gets it. Nate knows how many times grandma had to carry <laughs> Nate through life. With these buttocks. <laughs> with these life, butt cheeks. Through life. Through life. I don't, I don't want maybe that's, These butt cheeks have Maybe that's for a so later much. story. That's a later story. <laughs> that is a real feeling. Grandma. <laughs> these no. cheeks have been beat all my life. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> I can't. I'm paralyzed, Dan. <laughs> Grandma. You, like see that it goes like off of your face your eyes are the only thing that can move and you follow it on its way down and you squeeze your butt cheeks and fall like a fucking timber tree on top of this thing go ahead and roll a 1d6 of bludgeoning damage you could add your strength to it we'll say Oh my god. Add your body mass. I, was gonna, to it. I would like to do weight, but we don't do weight really, so I don't know. Well, if we did, let me tell you, I would be pure muscle. One, one d six. Let me roll that really quick. Uh, it's a four, plus and three. my strength is plus three. So that is seven. going to be seven points of bludgeoning damage when you shouldn't have had a turn to begin with. Ah! <laughs> So seven points of bludgeoning damage to you this thing. You can't get what you don't ask for. And uh, you land right on top of this thing. And Grandma, give me a constitution saving throw with advantage now to get out of the paralyzation. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that, but oh! Okay, it's a 17. If I get to keep that plus four, it's a 21. Ah! Sure is. So with the 21... You land, and when you land, you clonk your head on a rock. And when you conk your head on a rock, you're like, Mur -huh -huh, and you come out of your paralysis. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a win, but I'll take it. Hey, in mean, your barbarian you form, out. you don't even feel it. It just knocks you senseless into your body again. Okay. Good night. All right. That is your turn. Next is this little creature. And smash it sees you going for it now and it uh. says no ticket no carnival it's very nice and it's going Bitch, to you repeating yourself up. get a new it's line it's going to run oh up <laughs> and like open its mouth really wide and you see these like super sharp teeth and it's just going to chow into your leg oh! get it up get it up ow 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 
wow, 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 wow. That is a, where is its stats? That is a uh, 17 to hit. It hits. That is going to be. Oh, no, no. <laughs> but when he does that, he's about to <laughs> protect me, Rod. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, um, <clears throat> you're on your own. And he, uh, he does, or she does <laughs> six points. Six points of piercing damage. Ah, uh, uh, wait, uh, how much did I get lose earlier? Nine. Nine? Yeah. So you're at That 15? is me at zero. Oh, no. No, no way. All right. So she bites into your leg, and when she does, she pulls away, and she has <gasps> a chunk of Suntosh meat oh. in her oh, mouth. No. You uh -huh. just see Suntosh on the ground, and then <laughs> it is now him doing the entire Peter Griffin meme. Where he just <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's and the best zero hit points. <laughs> <laughs> so at zero hit points. Doing the Peter Griffin meme, I fucking love uh, it. <laughs> the creature ow. is like grabs the piece of meat that it has in its mouth and just begins to tear into it. Noah, mm. you're up. I have some um, clarifying questions before I ruin your day. Um, <laughs> this is more of a comment and not as much a question. Um, uh, what? One, uh, the the two that were there are three of them. Two of them are dead, right? Yeah. Did they die violent deaths, would you say? <laughs> One of them got smashed by me. One of them re literally exploded into goo. Uh, the other one, though. Junie has been reading one. that uh, wiki. The, other, the other one, one would you say? Would you describe it as a violent Would I say it was violent? I would, because it was radiant damage, and it's vulnerable to radiant. I don't so know, be... know if you said it like disappeared, or if it's still like there's a, like, there's a corpse or something there. You know, there's no corpse. Just... It's just okay. like the entire area is like kind But there of is another corpse there that it, its head is like goo, though, right? Goo. The whole body is goo. But yes. Oh, the whole body? Would you still say there's a corpse there, even if it's goo, though? Maybe? <laughs> the goo is all in the same place. Just Where are you make going a goo with this? Man. God damn it. Hey, well, I, I know where you're going with well, it, because, and you can I mean, do it even if there's not a corpse there. Um, well, it just needs uh, to die. That, it just needs Nate, to die. Nate, I'm, I'm you're being recorded. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm hovering there. I'm going to look at the last one that's there. It's just like, I told you, we work here. We're doing a job. And then I'm going to hold my hand straight out to the side in the direction of the, the corpse, like the, the one that was goo. Yeah. And I'm just like going to clench. Um, and... Your dark, butt cheeks? Dark. No, my fist. <laughs> no, not, not my little. You did not cheeks. specify. I and held yes. my hand out and I clenched. Fair enough. Okay. You did that. You could, have, okay. you could have done both. Okay. I clenched I'm everything. Sorry. I'm clutching everything, right? And I'm going to hold That's my hand out way. to the side. I'm holding out my hand to the side. There's a camera. I'm like, where the fuck is my camera? That's what I'm doing right here. So I hold my hand out to the side and I'm just going to clench uh, at the at the, the goo. What? What the hell? And. um. I can create a specter uh, on any humanoid that has died within a minute as long yeah. as they've died a traumatic death. <laughs> um, yeah. And the goo will coalesce into a wraith form of the, the, the being that they were before. Okay. And I will go, we work here, don't we? And it's going to nod. Yes. And it's just like, your friend says we're fine to be here. Oh, my God. Uh, it's worse. Are you still going to be a problem or do you want to? Do we have to make you agreeable too? Okay, so you make a specter. Mm -hmm. um, the specter is I, under your is control. Still? I say some dope shit. And, <laughs> you say um, some dope shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, specter, dope shit. Um, I don't know if I can roll anything to convince them. I don't know. It's I don't know if this, they're convincible. I don't, I don't think this is a convincible moment. This thing okay, is eating your friend's um, leg and he's dying on the ground. If if um, if it seems like uh, they're not going to re you know react in the we're going to back down type of way, then I'd be like, very well. And um, I'm going to just command that wraith to, to I'm going to sick him. I'm going to sick, sick him, wraith. boy. I'm not even going to move. Uh, now, that's my turn. I'm assuming the wraith gets its own turn. It does. So it, it's a on spectrum it, will go on your turn. So yeah. then it would go, it can go up to 60 feet, and it would do a life drain melee attack on her. Yep. Um, go for it. Which, Roll a d20 uh, plus four. Uh, yep. Uh, it's plus six. Plus... What? Uh, it, it's it's attack thing. Right? Plus, it's the wraith. Yes, but no, it says it, it you raise a specter. Oh, specter oh, sets. Nope, you're right. Okay, you are correct. Your words, they are, they are true. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Oh, so that looks less dope. Oh, they're still pretty cool looking. Okay. Um, that's 11 plus uh, 4, so 15. 15 hits. All right. And then it's uh, 3d6 damage. Holy crap. Damn. Yeah. Nice. That's what I, that's I, what I, I could also do things, but I'm not. With, basically. <laughs> um, that's uh, 10 necrotic damage, and they have to make a DC constitution saving throw. 10 necrotic damage. Hold mm -hmm. on. Let me talk to you. And they have to be 10. Yeah, is this thing... Uh... Okay, nope, you're good. Necrotic damage can still affect it. Now, what were you saying, uh, Noah? Uh, they, they make a, a DC 10 con save. Uh, I don't think that is necessary as the life is sucked out of this creature. Yeah, so I basically just Pokemon this. I had uh, I summoned something, sent them on it. They won um, you're <laughs> dun, 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 from somewhere in the carnival. Uh, <laughs> it went, it went and... from Pokemon to... to... From... Oh no, yeah, that was yeah. Part... Yeah. That sounded like Final Fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It was whatever. I don't. I mix it it's like both run out. This is a fantasy it's world. Goes into this Digimon. is a fantasy world. Nick Cage is here. Everything's <laughs> nothing's off the table. <laughs> you, um, we don't right. know that. I will. You I'm gonna hover in burn. place. I'm gonna hover in place. It's like, yeah. does anybody else want to see our tickets? <laughs> you see I don't several see people. You see several people like backing up. Like from oh, the, I'm just asking if anybody. I don't know. I don't know if everybody else is coming at us. There was, so was there was a few like... people that were going in like to the fight, like not like going in to like go to fight, but mm -hmm. they were like, you know, it's a spectator thing, and everybody's kind of going in, and then you say that, and people start like backing up. Now, of course, they, they're backing up because you are a fucking wraith that is threatening people at this point, um, and everybody is backing up, uh, seeing that this is a very dangerous occurrence. But now that you have finished the battle and all mm -hmm. has come uh... to an end. Yeah. Sora is going to run right up to her brother and cast Cure Wounds. Boom. Ooh. Yes. So, Noah, you, even though you weren't technically flying, you were kind of hovering in the I air. Hovering. yeah. And suddenly, as soon as battle is over, you come back to being Valathorian uh, Prime and all of a sudden drop <laughs> out of the sky. How, how, how far do you think I drop? You only drop about four feet because you were hovering. Okay. No, you can put me higher if you want. That's what it was. Mm. It, I mean, you can't really. The, the no, it thing says can only hover, hover, but I mean, if you want to put me 10, 20 feet, that's fine. You were 300 oh, feet in the air. Hover. And that <laughs> roll for a new character. No, do you want to put me that high? I'm not even no, joking. No. How don't. high do you want to put me? I just I said four feet. Noah, why are you arguing with me? Or two How high do you want to put me? Put me up in the air. Come on. Do it. I dare you. I fucking ten. dare you. Dan. Do it if you're bad. Do it if you're bad. You're a chicken. You All want right. to put me 10 feet? Sputter, how much are you doing? What is happening? Sputter, how much <laughs> are you healing Suntosh for? Well, I w I'm trying to roll. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm intimidated. Uh, five. <laughs> this is the Wraith talking, y'all. So. Five points of healing. Back to you, Suntosh. Oh, uh, you should see Suntosh. Oh, and then you get up and kind of just like, just uh, jump off. He goes, oh. Yeah, well, and they kind of just walk off and just say, like, thanks, and then walk <laughs> off like it's not going to happen. But, uh, You're but, uh, welcome. I said thanks. <laughs> Stop uh, dying. Those, uh, those cor uh, corporeal, those like ghost-like hands kind of come up over your, your, your shoulders and uh, attempt to heal as well to kind of like, you know, hover hand over your hands while you're healing. Um, and when it does so, you can hear in your head say, oh, his muscles. <laughs> that, that's my brother, you freak. He's a cutie. Still my brother, you freak. <laughs> you just hear like a giggle in your head. Oh. And <laughs> Santosh gets up and runs away like nothing happened. <laughs> and he was just remember, he was just clutching his shin and going. <sighs> Noah, you look up off the ground. Grandma, you uh you kind of get up off the ground all groggy like. You have a like a spinning headache, Nate. What are you doing? Uh, I'm checking on uh, Grandma or uh, Nana's stab wound. Yeah, <laughs> she has like literally. You got a like curl eggs, mate? She has like eight black uh, circles where the the little fingers were digging into her head, and then she has like oh. literally like a shank wound in her thigh. Um, I'm gonna as I'm kind of looking over. The, the little lights behind my lenses are going to, like, flicker and then glow brighter. Um, and a bright light as it moves over, uh, as I'm just kind of inspecting, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds. Noise. Unintentionally. Uh, for six points of healing. 
Nice. Six points of healing. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. So now I'm at 16 out of 23. All right. Man, are you okay? Uh, well, this is nothing. I hold one moment. Just, I, I'm sure I have a, a band aid. Yeah, I think I think we're past band aid, but you, I think you're I think you're okay. Just a band aid, just a, we can. <laughs> and upon Grandma's mini panic attack, we're gonna go ahead and take our break. <laughs> and we'll come back here in just a little. I'm bit. I'm gonna have a lemon bar while we're uh, while we're <laughs> okay. While we're we'll right right Do back, I still have everybody. a pet or no? Do you have a pet? Yeah, the pet uh, has disappeared whenever you Damn have fallen it. out of the sky. Okay. Wild Judy's magic be wild. Arr. All right, be right back. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Running Faye Wild. Look, this show ain't free to make. We all know that. And what's the best way you can help me and the team out so we can put food on the table? Yup, Patreon. With several different tiers of support, starting only at three bucks a month, what is that? If you have a few chicken nuggets, you gain access to a ton of cool shit like inserting your own NPCs, locations, magic items, and wild magic surges into our game. Or sign up for our top tier and get a one-on-one -on -one with me monthly where we go over the campaign and everything D&D. By throwing your cash at the screen, you not only get that other cool stuff, but you get Patreon exclusives such as our soon-to-be merch. Early access to podcast moment. episodes Balatorian and tons of behind the scenes goodies. Have been so run on over to our Patreon yeah. today and sign so, up. So this was good for them. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Not. I don't know. I just imagine him now nervously holding onto his tail like this. Like, oh, okay. Every time I do stuff, stuff happens. Okay. <laughs> That's the quote. Yeah. Every, yeah. every time I do stuff, stuff happens. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go put uh, I'm gonna have food that isn't trail mix. Ooh. That could be that could be a thing. That could be a thing. I just realized I was on mute. I'm like, you mean nuts? And then <laughs> Oh he missed it. I missed it. Damn it. Missed opportunities. My headphones are inside my muscle suit. <laughs> <laughs> How did this happen to me? <laughs> I mean, I know willfully. You you willfully put yourself in this situation. <laughs> the wire of my headphones has grown into my muscles. Don't let this. Be Your careful. muscles grew around. It clenched around the the, and the now wire. It's, it's like when a tree like absorbs something. <laughs> <into> it. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I'm pre feeling pretty good that we're not dead. That's nice. It's, it, I, I know yeah. technically I did die. I was but I played about it off. That. I te well, not die. I, I technically went down for the count. So. <laughs> it's like, wait, we, it's too early to. And never too early. To... I, I've done that before where level one characters. I literally played. Freaking, uh, what you call it? Uh, the 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 starter campaign, the the Lost Mines. I ran it for a couple friends. I had to pull back so much of the com the suggested combat that they gave in the game. It was just for two players, and even my by cutting it by like one third, I had to like, I I literally like I had to uh, uh, fudge some rolls just so my characters don't die in the first encounter in that game. I, I was rolling way too well. They were rolling way too shitty, and even even with like a quarter or so of the original enemies that were supposed to be attacking them, yeah, they 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 just just roll sometimes like that, and you're just like, dear lord. <sighs> but you know what? That's a lesson, and no one else is else is here to hear this. But uh, the lesson is, fun is what matters most not the rolls. And if it means sometimes you just need to fudge that roll so your PCs don't die, especially in their very first out encounter ever. Uh, yeah, you know what? When it's life fine. gives you fudge, Once. make fudge, make more, f make different fudge. <laughs> make different fudge out of the fudge? I'm, that's, I just joined There's, in for this. So. There, <laughs> it, I know it's like above your reading level, but... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just because I'm not 
Just because I was born. Look, like... Nana knows. <laughs> Nana knows that you didn't do your book it to get that Pizza Hut coupon. So, oh wait, yeah. <laughs> or go to your Scholastic book fairs. I didn't know what what yeah. your your laser disc was. Oh my God, they you're cutting me at, like. <laughs> you don't. I'm not referring to you as Brandon when you act like this. <laughs> I had a laser. I, I, wait, how old are you actually? Wait, don't even tell us. It's gonna make me cry. On no, I, no, I want to hear this. I need to hear this. <laughs> I just turned 28. Okay. Oh, it's okay. not that bad. <laughs> you're just not exposed. <laughs> no, I you know was. what? You it's should know funny. what a laser disc is because your no, elementary. I... But I guess you went to a nice elementary school to go for that. I mean, we we had projectors. <laughs> oh no, you mean like those uh those yeah that's Over that was normal that was normal the little light projectors. ones yeah the overhead ones I I miss those sometimes I don't know. Listen, some... you're still a millennial, so I yeah. am still that's all that matters. I just yeah. like making yeah. fun of how old Dan. Is. It's it's dark though because <laughs> you're at like, like the end of like... oh Dan is gonna find out and he's gonna he somewhere in his house Dan is standing in the kitchen and he. He just keeled over and everybody, <laughs> everybody's like oh my god are you okay what's wrong and he's like i don't know it's i just felt like a stabbing in the back <laughs> <laughs> wait does that mean that dan is actually gen x no dan's no. not actually 40 dan i'm pretty no. sure is my age i am not no, i mean once you get once you get brandon you 30. keep saying he's 40 so much that i believe <laughs> brandon remember 30. when you call dan old you call me old do you want to be calling me old i mean wait dan told me yesterday that dan told me on monday that he was 35. dan is seven years older than me. brandon but you yeah, are he's you're sowing seeds of extreme <laughs> doubt I'm supposed, I'm supposed math skills. I'm 35, <laughs> y'all. What the hell? Dan? Oh my god, he's, oh, he's here, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been listening for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> uh, just kidding. He's lying to you, it's all a sham. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm 35, but Brandon, I'm blink if you blink if you're okay. So, <laughs> we can't see it, but blink. <laughs> oh man. So I'm not that far from Brandon. I'm I'm, I'm 30, so. Well, you can, there, there's there's higher ages. The 30? I don't know. Some days it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it's all the same after that, to be honest. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't. It until just you get together, you forget it. Grandma. Here's the real sad part for you, Brandon, is that you don't know yet that life is better, like truly better. On this side of the map. Oh, absolutely. Number divide. Uh, I, don't, absolutely. I don't know about that. You That's say that, really but you, there's something beautiful, and this might be specifically to not men. Um, when you hit 30 and stop being something valued happens. by society, you stop giving a fuck right back and like. <laughs> Look at me right now. Women in their 30s. I don't, I'm just telling you, the second I hit 30, the number of people who I went to school with who came crawling out of the woodworks, astonishing. Because oh, wow. I stopped giving a sh Yeah, like, I have universally been hit on more in my 30s than my 20s. I mean, just yeah, yeah totally, you. me so, too. You're so gorgeous. Well, thank you, but people didn't think so in my 20s. So, oh, no, same, same. jokes on that bitch. <laughs> and, it, it, and then the funniest thing is like, now I now I just say, sorry, already tied up, Ugh. already married. Me hey, too. But I'll I will say something about the youth. People that, say, that talk to me like that. Oh, I'm already the only, married. The only people that hit on me are the drunk people in the ambulance. And I don't know <laughs> if that's really like our game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I call that a win. That's a win. Wait, wait, Listen, we'll you take your wins anywhere you get them. On, on, in favor for your generation, my fiance is also 28. And so uh, she recognized what was up. So what you're saying mm, You can is. sense you're, it. You can sense it. You're as much of a cradle robber as Dan is. Well, <laughs> except you're his brother? Huh? Huh? Dan, Dan's a cradle robber. His Dan, leave is, your, bro his Dan, leave like your brother 24? alone. My brother. No, that's wow. not as much of a cradle All robber, buddy. 34 oh. to 28 is not the same. <laughs> also, we're both women, so the numbers stop mattering. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped counting how old I was when I was uh, 25, and I was correct same. the other day um, on how old I actually am, and I was a year off because I keep forgetting. 
But yeah. also, like, the past three years don't count. Guess it. Well, uh, someone said, it's like, I'm 25, but in COVID years, I'm 23. <laughs> exactly. Lord. Um, the past five like, year living I had the now. opposite. I aged up in COVID. Like, I will, I will ask everybody to take a moment who is in either in chat and also the cast members to check out our Discord. Oh. Uh, Wait, Rosie. we've been sound on this whole time? Rosie B has already drawn, drawn some fan art of today's episode. <laughs> oh, my Holy God. Crap. Hold up. <laughs> I know. Uh, in the in I, the origin, oh my god! In the what's in, yeah, happening? it's in the Discord, so it's in the RFW fan art area. Oh Jesus! Oh my god! I couldn't yeah. believe it. Like I saw it, it's and I was so like, good. "This is a real thing!" Like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Where's my? He has Nicholas. She, she drew Nicholas Mage. Amazing. <laughs> Nicholas Mage. Amazing. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, getting dragged out. Ah! Come along, Mr. Cage. Can we tweet these at him? Yeah, well, I'm oh, yeah. At yeah. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Cage, what are you doing in the Feywild? What are your, what's your agenda? What are your reasons? Oh, Where are you sneaking agenda? in? We know you're in there. We know you go there every week. What are you doing? What are you looking for? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> now that we've seen Tay, this has to be your profile picture for a bit. <laughs> Where's my dandelion? Probably. Wiggle, wiggle. I like the wi I like it when wiggle is written. Like, yeah, there's lines <laughs> to like go. Oh, hey, wait, but like there's the word wiggle. The wiggle. The word wiggle is a fantastic word. Also, if we were to see this from the other angle, we would see how clenched. Yeah. Everything <laughs> yeah is. This is actually the like the best example I've ever seen of full body clench. <laughs> 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 this should be in an anatomical textbook to just like. <laughs> For like athletes. All right. Oh God, yeah. This is a textbook. That we exists. have uh, we have fully gone through our break. It looks like we have everybody back. Um, I just realized much, I haven't gone use the bathroom and actually use my break, but that's fine. Uh, that's okay. I'll just hold, I will clench. I will clench. <laughs> yeah, Make sure you happened. start that well, clench in your forehead gonna, and all, just keep it going. We're only going to be on for probably another half hour or so. That's so my worry. secret. I'm always clenching. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! All right, and oh. we're back. <laughs> were I'm, we I'm, ever I'm, really gone? I'm <laughs> sad that the camera wasn't on because I was uh, the intensity that I looked. I was like, I'm clenching. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. I hope what you guys we were able to. Yeah, right. Running back or running Faye Wild. By the way, not a lot of people like licorice, but I'm the biggest fan of Good and Plenty. Uh, sponsor me. That is just the I love. Bless Listen, America. we'll take your money. Please we sponsor were, us. We were just I'm, talking you know about what? how I can't make fun of how old you are. I'm logging off right you're now. You're gonna go I up love and say my good and plenty. You're just gonna have a bunch of Werthers or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jolly Green's like <laughs> dad candy. Werthers are not good. Werthers are great. Are you? Who said that? Werthers If they sponsor us, give us money. Yeah, they're Wait, never never doing, doing this wrong. Give me money. I feel <laughs> like I accidentally started something. That, that that was a chain reaction of people reacting violently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use my last rage. If I want to <laughs> break my teeth on candy, I'll get like a now and later. Wait, a question. Isn't there like a specific type of licorice candy that comes from like Iceland or something? I forget. Okay. It's like one of those. Here's the thing. It's I like know. starts with an oh, S. Okay. Every letter has a floor. I have a, this is a difficult me. or something like that. I forget what it's called. Yeah, we we got that. Iceland, yeah. uh, you know, existed for a really long time out here in the middle of the ocean. Uh, <laughs> lots of, you know, starvation issues, austerity for many years. And so there's like not a massive culture of sugar here because sugar is expensive and fancy. Mm -hmm. And so like the only candy is just freaking 359 different types of licorice stuff. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And then there's chocolate now, so they like to mix it. And so, like, anytime you eat a candy or a piece of birthday cake at the office or whatever, you have to be really careful that there's not licorice pellets in it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the bane of my life. And if you licorice think you're safe, pellets? if you think you're safe, they look like little rat turds. Is it like if little you... bako bits, but licorice? They it's called, no, it's called something very specific, right? It's, 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 it's like salt. No, 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 no. Is that what it is? No, no. It was like it was like this one specific type 
too, where it's uh, like there's black. There's like so many kinds that are salt, and then there's spicy ones. There's it's like, like black like, licorice and stuff. Oh man, they're all black, and except oh, okay. unless you get the Turkish one, which I don't even know why they call it that because it's I I don't think it has anything to do with Turkey, but it's called it's called like Turkish fire, and it's gray. Whoa, and there's gray. brown ones too, and it's like. If you think you're safe because you checked for pellets, you're not. <laughs> because they also make a dust and like these shreds that you can buy to just dust your food. Well, like like fun dip. I'm I'm happy to use my last rage now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm happy to uh, break up a whole conversation on uh, licorice pellets in your cake. <laughs> Um, for uh, running Bay Wild, if you guys are you know wanting to come back or, or play, I don't know. If you guys I don't know now that I know you eat those things for free. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat them for free. I'm looking for sponsorships. All right, look, Word. get them money. <laughs> we're here. All right. Anyways, uh, last we uh, left off, uh, we had just dispersed of these three strange creatures. Uh, let me reiterate what they look like here as I uh, bring it up on screen. They took out this weird set of individuals uh, that were blocking their path. Um, but just off in the distance, they still see uh, that the dragonflies are being messed with. Some of them are weirdly flying in, in, in erratic patterns. People are yelling on the ground, um, all centered around a strange looking Kenku that is like waving her hands up in the air. What do you guys is think? that is that the bird thing we were yeah, supposed that's, to that's what we're that's what we promised mr light we'd go go look at yeah all right Ta to take care of to yes. take care of we're not murdering we we, we had okay. this talk with mr light about how okay. we are not assassins good uh may i reiterate mr witch also is the one that uh was like yeah. hey kill it mm -hmm. he did offer us a lot of money though he said mm -hmm. We probably need money too. Just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to Spada and uh, I'm holding my tail like uh, like uh, the way somebody just holds a hat. Like this <laughs> um, how did uh, how how did you get like the uh, the cool uh, arm star things to happen? Uh, whenever I uh, I try to do the the things, uh, whenever I try to do the things, bad things happen. Um, I think I just turned into an evil ghost. I'm not 100% what happened. Um, yeah. E e but uh, e evil how, ghost. Did you, how did you not do that? Um. Do you remember? Well, I picked all of my spells and my character carefully. Yeah, no. What I'm saying is, like, um, I was trying to do, like, a, an easy one. I felt like I could do one of the, the easy ones. Uh, and then I was just kind of, like, trying to... I think I had, like, a defensive one. But uh, when I do it, it almost feels like I'm trying to, like... Uh, how do you how do you say it? Um, like, I'm trying to, like, uh, wrestle a tornado. And um, it just... I, I did it, but then it was everywhere. And uh, I don't know. It just kind of got out of hand. And I felt like... like a thousand different things were happening at once and then specifically like a 600 and something or other happened and um i was an evil ghost for a second and then i think i summoned another ghost and made it murder yeah. somebody um, yeah i'm trying to not think about it but well, um you did um, great dude remember Thanks. i don't i'm not happy about it really but you it's know, okay um, it's okay it's just did, your you know, character right um and uh, no Spada it's digs me. in I, it's, and pulls I out her rest of the tornado i mean uh but Sora digs out the book mm -hmm. <laughs> the player's handbook that mm -hmm. is in her purse awesome oh. when, when you pull out the player's handbook it looks different it's the, the variant cover. Outside. It's the variant <laughs> cover, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's the variant, oh, that, variant cover. And when you pull it out, the front of the book looks to be uh, pressed into like a leather bound cover. And when you open it, it says player's handbook, but it is written with like an ink pen. Oh. With like watercolored illustrations. Whoa, uh, Swara 
Can is they be quickly moving? gonna start flipping through it because you know, okay, nerd alert moment. Um, <laughs> we've covered that Svara really hasn't been able to play in actual plays, yeah. but she's watched a lot. And uh, part of buying the player's handbook was following along as things happened on the shows. So she could be like, oh, that's how they're using their powers and kind of educating herself through watching. Is she a post-it notes type of person? Uh, she's a colorful flags kind of person. So there are oh, flags. Yeah. They're that's well, okay. Yep. The old. That's a Junie. <laughs> I have uh, my things are all well, flagged she, everywhere. My player's handbook is not up here, but um, the player's handbook definitely has like along the top. It has the sections, and you've got like the sec like classes and okay. uh, races and everything. And on the side, it's more specific, broken down. Uh, the druid section is very tabbed because somebody <laughs> was preparing for this game. Um, so I'll but say she that when you, yeah. look, when you, when you have it and you open it and you, you're like flipping through to the different tabs and everything like that, each one of the tabs is a very beautiful and intricate looking bookmark versus a tab. And they're all okay. different. Uh, she would like to go to, um, well, she's going to, okay, I guess, should I roll an intelligence check for me to know whether Swara would have an idea as to what class Noah picked since Noah doesn't seem to remember no, you have the player's handbook right in front of you. You could literally just look it up. So okay, well, so she's gonna go. She's gonna go. She knows it's a magic casting class, and she knows wild magic is a thing. Um, and so she's like, "You should probably read this and just open the sorcerer page." Yeah. If if we're walking towards Noah, like uh, the when the thing, she yeah. when she opens the book to the sorcerer page on it, you see a painting of Valathorian on the on the inside of the player's handbook. Aww. You're okay. so pretty. Uh, Valathorian right. has a very like uh like very confident face uh and he looks to be like a master sorcerer. He has like magic coming out of his his hand um and he he just looks uh, excessively confident with his extremely high charisma that he uses uh, as his non-dunk step. Well, I've never looked in a mirror yet, so I'm like, well, this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. Uh, um, he he looks like you. Is that like our level 20 version? No, no. I mean, uh, apart from the fire or the, the spell in his... Is this what my hair looks like if it was blowing in the wind? Um, oh, kind of already that, that, does, oh, that was a handsome guy. Well, I, I mean, I can only, I have a tail and I see that I'm like this tall. So I, I don't, I haven't really, I haven't really wanted to look in a mirror or anything like that. I, I'm um, sorry, your short prejudice is coming out. Well, hey, okay. I'm just saying it's like, if you, you assumed know, because you were short, you weren't attractive. No, Size no, doesn't no. matter. Okay, everybody. I feel like you're all turning. <laughs> I'm just saying that, you know, it's like if imagine you, you know, you used to fit Come into back. a pair of jeans and now you can't. And so it was, I was, you know, able to reach stuff on a certain shelf and now I can't. It's just, I, it's just, I'm bummed. I'm not, I, no, I'm dude, okay. dude, you just I, buy I, new pants. No, grandma's okay, going to look at you and okay. put her hand on your shoulder and just say, you fit into the jeans, baby. <laughs> that will surprisingly help me calm down. Um, I'm like, uh, all right, well, we have to go to the thing and I'll just like read and walk as we go. And I'm going to go. Yeah. And then Swara's gonna say, "Focus it says on here, that. this thing is random." Yeah. I picked the. I thought it was like, like, like Doctor Strange, like Sorcerer Supreme. I just assumed it was a wizard. I didn't know. It, I thought it was wild. Buddy, like, you know the way buddy, like, in the 90s a... where it was like wild. No, I didn't a, think it was wizard. Buddy, the there's wizard a whole class called wizard. Yeah, That's but like this page. one sounded cooler with the wild sorcerer. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sweet with Jesus. Wizards. <laughs> oh. Hey, at least you won't have a boring day. Oh God! Every time I do one of these things, something bad might happen. I could turn into a plant. Can you do the rabbit? Hey, I think I can talk to those at a higher when I get better at this. This is dangerous. This is <laughs> yes. I mean, it doesn't sad. seem like it. 
For them. I mean, did you miss the part where you <laughs> almost died earlier <laughs> and then uh, Santosh Noah, almost died earlier? I was say, Noah, you say, this is dangerous, and Santosh is like, eh, and you look over at Santosh and, like, half his calf is missing. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what we need to do to Santosh? We need to, like, did you ever watch one of those YouTubes where, like, a sink or a toilet is broken and they take, like, uncooked ramen noodles? Oh, like noodles? the ramen noodles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, don't you oh, my no. my leg. Patch him up. I know exactly what you're saying. Yes. I've got I'm lemon bar. I've got... When you got mending, I... baby. I've got lemon bar. I'm just... <laughs> yeah, well, fair do enough. Not, he, do not he fix is... wounds with ramen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if this is how the mechanic works or how this... Because I am a variant dragon. Fr I, am a, I am a gemstone dragon. Mm -hmm. I am a yep. sapphire gem dragon. So when, when you were describing the thing eating my flesh, I, was I didn't get a chance. It was crunch. crunch. It was crunching into, <laughs> yes. It was crunching into <laughs> literal rocks. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, shiny, shiny gem sapphire like rocks, which is technically, you know, I think, I don't think it ever, I, I feel like it just broke off. But the weird thing is, sapphires are almost just as hard as diamond. They're pretty much the same carbon based product. <laughs> it just has a different, uh, it has a different, uh, 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 flaw in it, a different chemical. I forget which one it is. That Yo, KP makes it is trying through. to science the physiology of this gem dragon. I, I will, should be uh, fucking hard as I'm diamonds. I will I'm, say I'm that he's scales. right. He's right. I will the say that your scales. Of a sapphire. I'll say that your scales are hard as sapphire, uh, but you're still a squishy, gooey little humanoid underneath all oh. those scales. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm still a softie at heart. This is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so <laughs> the gooey uh, center of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start seeing the wild magic table, and I'm not even gonna like go through it. I'll see like the plant one. I'm just gonna close the book. It's like, all right, if I just think about the stuff that's on this table, it's gonna it's I'm gonna overthink it. The thing I put on myself lasts for like eight hours, so I'm I'm just gonna try not to do any more of that stuff. And I'm gonna hand the book like just hold it away like. Take it away from me. Um, um, and uh, it's like, I, I shouldn't uh, do, unless we really, really need it. Um, that, do you have any weapons? I'm going to pull out my my switchblade and a, and a full-blown, like, little mini scythe that looks almost like a Sailor Moon, um, like, <laughs> scythe with a gem. And I was just like, I got these. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let those be your first defense. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to walk with sharp things in my hand i'm just gonna basically Are you gonna run with scissors my... okay yes yeah. semi confidently just walking forward with your yeah. sharp object yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. where are you guys going what are you guys doing you just approaching like kanku okay mm -hmm. so the kanku is like i don't know probably a, a few 10 15 feet away from you at this point because it was only about 50 during the fight and you will hear people yelling because you can now see directly where her hands are pointing up in the air there is a dragonfly whose eyes woof, cover over with that black smoke and then the dragonfly starts to fly erratically you see oh. a uh a um on on top of the dragonfly you see there is a uh a lizard folk who is grabbing onto it like being flung around now uh by the uh the dragonfly as it screams out in in horror uh and the kenku you can hear going <laughs> <laughs> okay you're gross i'm clocking the one that is um the person that's hanging on do they look like they're in danger of falling yeah like i would sledding. say i would say it, it looks dangerous my my eyes are on the the lizard folk the whole yeah. time so he's like yeah i'm gonna i'm 20, gonna 20 or so feet. head over there and try and get under him Okay, so the Kenku sees that you are getting up underneath the the dragonfly, um, and it like takes its like purple cloak that it was wearing and like puts it up over its head and starts to like walk away. And the uh, the black mist above or like in front of the dragonfly eyes go away, and the dragonfly like regains its steadiness, and it the the lizard folk is now just <laughs> just hanging on the side the do we see where the kenku is still there like no it, it starts away? walking away yeah uh, i'm gonna shout somebody go follow him and then i'm gonna like stand underneath the the lizard folk okay come and on say, grandma let's go and say come oh. on i got gotcha. you 
one if it uh, has dandelion. Let's so, go get it. The lizard folk oh. looks down and he's like, you're going to catch me. That's probably. You're made of <laughs> metal. <laughs> ah! I mean, would you I'm rather gonna... hit the ground? You're worse than the ground. At least I'm it's gonna... dirt. All right, and I'm gonna give him a thumbs up and just kind of like pretend <laughs> walk to away. away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, look up at him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up at him and go just like, it's okay, it's all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Roll a persuasion <laughs> check. Okay. Oh my god, I'm, this I'm, is I'm, gonna be. Oh, we're all. I feel like the only one that is qualified to hold him is either Swara or Grandma. I we all should slip towards the Goku. <laughs> I rolled a twenty. I rolled a twenty-four. Holy <gasps> shit! It goes. There we go. I trust you with my life. <laughs> if he, as he lets go, yeah, I'm gonna like. It's almost like a reflex. I'm gonna slash with the scythe, and it's like <gasps> the crescent of the scythe is gonna almost send like a a whirling scythe of of air, and it'll swirl under him. I'm gonna cast Featherfall. Oh, oh, oh it'll, shit. It'll, 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 be, it'll be like a reflex. It'll be it'll be a reflex of like, <laughs> and then uh, he'll drift down to the ground. Uh, but I cast you. a first level spell gently so. into my arms. <laughs> I really did not think that's what you were doing. Yeah, was like, that's great. I was like, wow. Noah, roll a d20 this time and try and get above 10. Okay. <laughs> try. I dare you. I, I dare, dare you. I dare you. A double dog dare you. That's a 12. 12. A 12? Mm -hmm. You feel the weird sensation that you felt before, that magic pulsating through your body <sighs> as if not in control but you barely pass through it and the wild magic stays within. Your eyes kind of flare up for a moment from like the magic trying to seep out, but then it subsides. I look at Nate, it's like, I told you, I told you I can't be doing, like I'm almost like blaming him for the thing that I totally <laughs> did on myself. I was like, I shouldn't be, and now I'm walking away because I know it's my fault. I'm like, yeah. I should, I calm the down. lizard I folk have, while floating have have down is, Wee! <laughs> I'm just, just waiting, just arms and <laughs> yeah, away. it's like a gentle like. Get away. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just like a gentle like <clears throat> into your <throat> arms. He's like, Ugh. he's a limp you know, lizard in your arms now. I'm just gonna drop him now. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, he falls how's, to the ground. But yeah, how's that ground treating you? <laughs> Grandma and Sfuda <laughs> and Santosh, you guys chase after the the Kenku. The Kenku. We're power walking. We're power walking. You power walk. <laughs> the Kenku uh, kind of. We're being slips. safe. Slips behind a uh, a tent. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You follow behind. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I kind of just like peek around, and yeah. like it's kind of like that moment where he first sticks the stick out, and he's like, "What do you see?" <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, I, I, "I, it's a weird thing. I really can't see anything that you can't." I, <sighs> and he pulls back, stares at. You are one of the most useless things I've I'm picked really up. Really useful, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep telling yourself that, and he kind of turns around and then looks around. I can tell you if somebody's happy. You want to know if somebody's happy? Oh joy! Uh, that thing yes, seems yes, sincere. Joy. Yep. Uh, you, I just stare at, it and he goes, "You and I need to have a talk." And then it kind of puts him away. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes around and then bends over around the tent to look at what what do we see? You turn the corner and immediately gr grab by the shoulders and shoved against the wall of the tent next to you. And standing in front of you now is that Kenku that was wearing the hood and it stares up at you and it goes, why are you following me? Oh, you, you have a, damn, you have a deeper voice than I thought you would. <laughs> yeah. And it just like its eyes kind of shift back and forth. It's like beam uh, black eyes. Well, don't run, dude. Just we kind of wanted to just talk, you know, just chill, talk, kind of figure out what's going on here. We're kind of new to the area. Just, Never seen know. a talking bird before. Yeah. It like doesn't look away from Suntosh and like points its claw at you. I'm getting you to you next. Hey. Oh. What are you doing hey, here, though? Just... And it like takes its claws screaming. off of you and kind of like, you know, releases you from the wall there. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, because Sv uh, Svara had started putting her quarter staff up, but we'll put it down <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> when he steps away from her uh, brother. Yeah, yeah. Wise. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, well, uh, and this is the, was this the same Kenku that was talking in the tent? 
it back when? Similar, yeah. So, it, oh, it, it just has heard that, the sound. It has that, yeah, because it was just the sound that you heard, but it's, it's okay. that same okay. weird, like, cool dude sound. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, well, uh, uh, and I kind of just look at Sweater and goes, what, what are we looking for him for again? Uh. My grand baby! Well, mm, what, was the Kanker the one that uh, announced this, the Prismere stuff? It was, yes. right? Um, we're specifically here because you made an announcement and we just kind of wanted to talk about it. Do you know something about Prismere? No, but we're trying to find out more about Prismere. What do you, you just I mean, here to learn? Well, yes, we've been told it's our way back. Way back. Yeah, we're kind of on this really bad trip, dude. And okay, just... buddy, Wait, are you we're not to get to Prismere. Yes. Okay. Is it a place? We think it's a place. It is. Hey, again, the eyes kind of shift around. It is a place. Does the name Zabilna mean anything to you? You see it like poke up, its feathers kind of like start to puff up around it, and he goes, You know Zabilna? No, we've been told to find them. Well, your guess is as good as mine then. I haven't heard of, from Zabilna in quite some time. Something is wrong. Oh. Oh. I don't... I have a feeling Mr. Witch and Mr. Light know something. Is that why you made the announcement to rile them up? Like, what? I guess... They're what are you happy. doing here? Yeah, they're not happy you're messing with things. They... Oh! I have knives. Hi, when did you show up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is that meme where like you. Dwight from the office is standing there. And... Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Angela standing behind. <laughs> 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 we gotta make that. We gotta make that meme. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anyways, um, he, he, she she looks at you and is like, um, I they. They definitely know something about Prismere, and I, I'm going to find out. It, here, and it like. <clears throat> Someone is going to find out about this. They'll well, shut. They'll shut us down. <clears throat> we agreed to this pact. Our hands are forced, but our eyes were open. We let the hourglass come and take it what it wants, and in return. We stay in business. That is what you want, right? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> See? Wow. I told you they know something. I just Damn. need to figure it out. You're better than a vid like a tape recorder. Right. Wow. Nate, Speaking of Nate, come us. over here. You got to listen to this. Uh, can you do all that again, please? <laughs> <laughs> in the same exact... <laughs> Tone, in intonation, everything. I could tell someone's gonna find out about this. They're gonna shut us down. <laughs> we agreed to this back. Our hands are forced, but our eyes were open. We let our hourglass come and take what it wants, and in return, we stay in business. That is what you want, right? I guess so. That was that All was right. legitimately I'm... impressive. That was mm -hmm. that second one. Uncanny. <laughs> that was, that was yeah, good. yeah. Love it, Judy. Oh, when your trolling attempts backfire. Well, well, well freaking done. Uh, holy crap! I feel like you owe you owe Dan something. No, no, one no, point no. of psychic damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, how much HP you got? No, yeah, no, that was to Junie. Junie took damage. Junie, Junie. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, I got an uh, abacus over here with my with my. Junie health, so. has to eat one good and plenty. Oh, <laughs> we Man. should have we should each it's, have a box, and every bad. time one of us is bad, we have. To we should have one. penalty <laughs> food. Yeah, we should have a good like oh treats God. and penalty like food. Like a box like, game. Yeah, exactly. All right, <laughs> Nate, you come up. Game. They re he, she reiterates what was said. And um, all right, well, do you know do you know what kind of deal they made? Do you hear anything else? That's what I came to find out. Why the announcement? 
Because that's the only way I could get their attention. They turned then... me away every time I tried to talk to them beforehand. Mm. Why run away then? Run away from what? The big tent. Why run away? Because I would be captured and taken hostage and uh, killed or, or worse. I don't... What do you mean? I, I guess if you want to talk to them, how are you going to do that? if you can't see them face to face. I've tried face to face and it doesn't work. So I want whatever's happening to come to light. Mm. Sounds like you're kind of searching for a problem without even knowing if there's a problem. Well, there's a problem. I'm looking for the answer. Talking to them won't. They're not talking about it. So he's trying to find what they're trying to cover up. Right. Have you found anything out yet? <clears throat> Well, like I said, something is clearly wrong. Um, but I just know that there's something wrong hidden in uh, Prismere. And they have something to do with it. Oh. Is Prismere close? You could say that. Okay, oh. and... That Just, seems like a half answer. As folks who are new to this area, you say something is clearly wrong, but could you give us examples? Are you, What's wrong here? People go missing. Okay. And Did we know that? Return. Did we know that? I don't is think there, we knew that. that. Are there other? Are there other things that are go, being? attributed to this because I feel like there are some things that are happening that they might be blaming on Jew. Uh, I don't. Maybe. Right. That, that, he told to us that like they're causing havoc, right? Yeah. The, yeah. the Kenku, that she's, was, that, that the Kenku, was, the Kenku was doing stuff. Okay. Mm. People are miss. How long have people been disappearing? For quite some time now. I'm not exactly sure how long. I do know that. <clears throat> excuse me. I do know that it's been pretty much the same amount of time since I lost contact with Sibylna. So you think they're stopping you from contacting her? Could be. And they're behind whatever is wrong with Prismere. I think so. Did I don't know about a... you, but I've heard stories, or not stories, but I've heard whispers of some weird things taking individuals and items we have not heard Here about that. Could you tell us more? Uh, hold on. Hey, hey, Sunta, uh, Suntash. Sorry, S S Ty. Santosh. Ty. Santosh. No worries. Santosh. No worries. Um, could you could you ask your scepter if he knows anything about this? Because he was with Mr. He's... Light all that time, right? Oh, ooh. And then I pull out the I pull out the scepter and I just stare at it and I'm because like you've been hearing all this like he just like <laughs> you you've been listening. What are you? Come on. What, what do you want from me? So, one useful thing. Fine. Come on. Fine, know fine, what fine, is. fine. I'll take you on a date. Promise? <laughs> I mean, do, yes. Okay, then. Do we hear that? No. <laughs> no, no, it's all mental. <laughs> Great, just check. <laughs> and he goes, <clears throat> The Hourglass Coven. The what? The Hourglass Coven. The, the what she had just said. Do you okay. Uh, I stare at me like, no, I kind of was zoning out for a bit. But okay. Uh, I turn around like something about an Hourglass Cup. How do you spell? The, coven? coven? That, that's what she just said. Yeah. Do yes. you know anything about it? Yes. What do you, what do you know about it? And I stare at the staff. They have eyes and ears here at the park. Those I creatures mean, that you fought before. Yes. They work for them. Who's... And I, I relay all of this. I'm just like, anybody understand what he means by that? Oh, what? those baddies! This is all fake! And they took the Andy Lion! And they know how to get to Prismere, and they don't want us to go, and so we will never get out of here, and this trip will never stop, and it was the chili. Nana, Nana, deep breath. Something else. 
Lemon bar, Nana. Lemon you bar. You should have done the dishes, Nate, when I asked. I should have done the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The Kenku it always but, comes back to the dishes. The Kenku comes back in. It's and, always about something else. The Kenku comes back in like, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here, but um, I'm going to probably just go if you guys don't have any more answers. In my no. And I, st I stare at the staff harder like, stop. Say something. That's all I know, I promise. <sighs> Apparently wait, they have wait. eyes and ears everywhere. Um I swear I was gonna look at the group and just be like, should we tell them? Should we tell her? Yeah. Um, so we could maybe get more answers out of Mr. Witch and Light if you help us. No. You see, they wanted us to find you but and... we wanted an the re in exchange we would get answers about prismere go on so what if we did a kind of bait and switch its feathers start to like lift up in the air a little bit we tell them you lay low for a little bit we tell them we've taken care of you and we make them tell us about Prismere. The alternative is we could with your consent bring you to them as our prisoner and you know, they will probably do some sort of monologue or something and just reveal <laughs> some sort of plan assuming oh, that dude, I saw will... that Incredibles. Uh, yes, exactly like Incredibles. Um, but they will assume that you would be dealt with because one of them wanted you, as they say, um, they wanted you uh, deaded. So um, with the, uh, we can convince them that you will be taken care of and bringing you there would be the proof of, hey, we got them and they will be taken care of. But perhaps we can use that opportunity to get information and we can find out things and you can find out things and... Then we all just go, because quite frankly, none of us want to kill you. Um, mm -mm. I, I know these. I know that me holding sharp objects is probably not the. Uh, let me just put these away. Um, but Omira, like, uh, yes, uh, perhaps we can we can work together, and you can lay low, or you can come with us. What if they take them, and then well, we never get the prism beer? That that that's <laughs> kind of my question is. Um, can. Which especially seemed keen on uh, on aliving you, you and what if they treatment permanently? What if I, they I like cast a spell to kill you before the monologue? Could easily be done. Um, <clears throat> Maybe if you gave us some an proof. Alternative. Oh, sure. Mister Witch, I don't know if you saw it, but. He carries around a pocket watch. Yep. I remember seeing that. That pocket watch makes this entire place run. Oh. I sure have grabbed that. If <laughs> you somehow get that pocket watch, we could use it as leverage to have them spill whatever they know about Prisma. So you're telling me this is useless. And I point at the staff. I was going to say. He looks at it and he goes, is that what I think it is? Uh, I don't know what you think it is, dude. I can't read minds. Is that Mr. Witch's staff? It's just Mr. a grabber. Mr. Light's staff. Or, yeah, Mr. Light's staff. It's just a grabber. Uh, I think it was in their trailer and I was kind of just fidgeting with it. And I kind of just walked out. I didn't know I had it. Staff? Bar more like I, I, yes. I, yeah, yes, he did. I wasn't intending to. I just was like, "Woo, what is this?" And then Listen, we were talking. I thought we're and all anti Mister Witch and Light here. It's fine. You stole yeah. his staff. Whatever. Maybe oh. you can use oh, okay, that to garner some sort of like parlay between us. If you want to, let's say you can give back the staff if you don't have oh. to kill me or or. You know, you can use it in the dealings. I turn to the staff. What say, dude? You want to go back to your your? What is he to you? Your dad? What? What is he? 
He's one of my past owners. Oh. Do you want to go back? I don't really have a want. Oh, come on, dude. Everybody has a want. What do you want? You can talk. <laughs> I never really thought about it. <laughs> what do I want? Self-actualization right now. <laughs> I, I want, I want, I want everybody to be happy. Oh. Good. Hey, you, you, you ain't so bad, Kenku? dude. Oh. <laughs> we can't one. take it back to that evil place. Well, you don't actually have to give it back. We just have to make sure it doesn't kill Kenku here. Wait, well, what's your name? What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Kettle Steam. Kettle, Kettle Steam? Steam? That's so beautiful. Spelled like both objects or things? Yeah. With, yeah, with no space in between. Okay. Can, That's can I do an insight check on Kettle Steam to see if I'm picking up, like, if they're trying to trick us or if yeah. like we're just furthering their Rolling evil plan like i'm just yeah uh, i got a 17 17 already on the inside okay let me uh all right kettle steam is definitely trying to hide something per se um and it mm -hmm. looks like her hands are kind of uh twiddling something uh in her like pocket as she talks she has like her hand just like um like rubbing against the side of her pants or her pant leg do I, do I get like a guarded sense or do I get like a, uh, <clears throat> like, oh man, I don't want to make it seem like I'm, it's not, I know it's not mind like reading. Hiding but like, something. I, okay. I, I'm trying to get, trying I'm trying to, to get something. like malicious or like, you know, the kind of intent where it's just like, not you malicious. know, you know, does she, does she seem like, you know, she's vibes. Yeah. I'm trying to get her vibe towards us. Um, but I would definitely, uh, if I see like, you know, they're nervously, um, like going to something, I would hold, uh, this, well, no, I would I put away the knife, but I would uh, kind of gesture and be like, "What, uh, what do you have there?" No, uh -huh. um, oh, wrong voice. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Uh, um, I uh, and she like tucks something into her pocket deeper, but right mm -hmm. before she does, you can see just the edge of it, and it looks like two pronged yellow pieces that the very tips are black and it gets dipped down a little bit into her pocket uh, okay uh why what's up I, I just i noticed that you are uh nervously uh playing with something i uh and then i'm gonna take out my knife again it's like I when I when I get nervous and then I'm gonna start flailing the the knife. It's like he goes, when ah! I get nervous. When I get nervous, I um I sometimes do this as just some sort of repetitive um, gesture, uh, almost like a fidget spinner. I don't know if you have those here, um, but this one's way more dangerous. Um, <laughs> dangerous spinner. I don't know what that. So kind I'm just of curious what you're is. what you're using to help calm spinner. yourself, and I'm just gonna keep playing with the knife. Uh, and it's just like I'm just curious. Oh my god, this is the most threatening shit. Um, roll a... Yeah, roll an intimidation on it. Wait, like, that definitely felt like an intimidation to me. This is definitely me. an intimidation. Grandma is backing away like doing that. <laughs> okay, two things. Two things happened. One, it's a natural one, right? But hold on. Wait, before, before, before you do the animation, before you do the animation, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that it, the knife is probably gonna close like on my finger and like like not cut me, but like bop me. But before it does, some <laughs> form of energy is going to go around my hand, and I'm going to use my Tides of Chaos feature. Ooh. Oh, my God. And I get, I get to just re-roll something. Yep. I get to just re-roll it. Oh, this is a natural <laughs> one. Does Noah cut his finger off? <laughs> oh, God, that'd be so funny. If it's another natural one, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> like a little hot dog? <laughs> that's a dirty 20. Ooh, a natural one turned a one. into a dirty 20. All Amazing. right, Ties of Chaos. Hey, welcome to Chaos uh, Sorcery. All right. Um, okay, so it's not a nat one, so that doesn't go in there. But with that dirty 20, she goes, <sighs> and she takes the thing that was in her pocket out, and she pulls it out. And now what you see in her hand is a yellow electronic gaming Ooh. device. A Tamagotchi? Like, in the what shape we... <laughs> of a very familiar pocket monster it's from Pikachu. the real world. 
This is a this hey is you clearly this is a, little, a, little, a, little. a pimpkin chew from yep. the popular <laughs> series Blokemon. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh my god. And Hurt. you see it is a Game Boy in the shape of a Pikachu. And she looks from a, she from a company called Lasutendo. <laughs> Lasutendo. <laughs> she takes it and like she, like, puts it up and holds it up, and on the screen is an like an eight bit or whatever oh the old school Nintendo's bit version is. It's like an eight bit version of oh it. God. Looks to be like a sad clown. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 <gasps> oh. And Why is this that just is where me? we're going to end today's session. Oh. Sad clown? Sad clown. I was going to say, I, I, I'm like, I'm like, does it look like a clown or does it look like somebody we know? That's it does look like. like somebody you've seen before. Oh. Uh, it's, it's the guy that got some, uh, some touch high. No, it oh. doesn't look like a portly clown. It I looks like Dan. I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure That's out Dan. Dan's. Dan's in a Tamagotchi right now. That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> is it a pocket Dan? It's not That's a pocket Dan That's... either. Okay. It's not a pocket Dan. Okay, okay. we'll right. figure this out. I got, it's hard, I got to, see. It's hard to see in an 8-bit. I got chills because I imagined like 8-bit Dan like... Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I, do, I do the little monkey thing where like I yeah. put my hand out and kiss the ball. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, no. Yeah. Grandma would actually struggle. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> no. So with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and end today's session. And uh, that is going to be on the sad clown on a random uh, Game Boy that is pulled out of Mr. or Mrs. Kettlesteam's pocket here. Um, okay. And I guess that is up to you to decide what's going to go on the next episode of Running I can't Fight believe Wild. how long you're going to make me think about this. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining weeks. us tonight. If you are watching on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we you. will see you here in a couple weeks. I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.